welcome to Critical Tumblr, where a bunch of long-time friends and nerdy-ass Tumblr users transcend geography through the power of Skype to play Dungeons and & Dragons and critically fumble a lot. The Cupcake Coterie has finally started making its way in the general direction of the Star Coast, as prepared as they're going to get for the time being to face the uh, evil, uh, mutating, horrible death fog that seems to have taken over the city for reasons predominantly unknown. They're hoping to get some answers as to maybe not so much what it is exactly. They're more interested in how to make it stop uh, from the hearth, uh, a small halfling community, which <laughs> according to legend and uh, the information given to them by uh, Nasor, the Andro Sphinx, um, has was supposed to be guarding Star Coast, the barony, against this sort of thing. Uh, the group's not entirely sure how they were supposed to be doing this, what that job particularly entailed. They're going to try to ask. Um, Darwin has been forewarned that, um, yeah, uh, keep keep the silver tongue locked up because they very much appreciate plain speaking and that that, that bullshit ain't gonna fly um, partially because they're insular to start with now they're even worse and the name hearth heart is not going to open very many doors because hazel's adopted mother um, apparently abandoned the family um, Miranda's take on that is uh, rather different than uh, the one the hearth, you know, the people of the hearth have, but that's something that may or may not come up in conversation. So the Cupcake Coterie is currently sailing down to the hearth uh, en route to the Star Coast to try to figure out how they're going to fix what is going on. They are running a little heavier than they were on the way up to Hearth Home because they are bringing supplies, uh, hoping that this will open some doors that might not otherwise have been open. Plus, they're, they're a generally good bunch of people who don't really want people starving, which means they can't do night sailing. So it's taking a little while longer, and they're having to stop for the evenings. Their first campsite, they drag the boat up, set themselves a, you know, set themselves up a camp, and were almost immediately set upon by two ghasts. Uh, humanoid, gray skin, barely dressed, long tongues, fangs, claws, and they are insane with hunger for the looks of things. So where exactly is everybody on this map that I have uh, so lovingly created for y'all? Um, I think I was by the camp's fire. I'm not entirely sure where. With so, Hazel prob there? probably on top of me. Yeah, Hazel, sure, was yeah. On, Hazel was on Clarity's lap pretty much, and I think I had been I'd unwrapped Darwin from the blanket burrito, and I don't know where that <laughs> left me, but... Okay, so let's just say that you guys are sort of there-ish. Uh, first, of, did you have anywhere in mind for where you were going to be? Uh, he'd probably be nearby the fire as well. Uh, probably, like, right about there. Okay, we can do that. I really need to get your... Uh, your proper uh, tokens done. But yes, okay, so your guests are about here. Now, thankfully, Froseth managed uh, to get some indication of them coming, so there is no actual surprise round. So, I would like you all to roll initiative. Word. Meep. That is 12. 18. 15. 17. 
Jesus, saltine eating. Damn. Charmin was angry. <laughs> Apparently. Okay. I have no idea how that how that uh, how, okay uh Darwin was angry apparently oh I rolled a 19 that's why okay damn up to post burrito yeah okay so uh coming out of the uh, uh duvet burrito to well uh, blanket burrito really uh Darwin gasps are there and there and they're coming on fast um, okay. Um. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, let's see. Spell. Um. <laughs> Hello, noob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, ne I'm never going to stop that. I really am not. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to hold action. Okay, until when? Uh, I want to go after... Uh... No, you don't, you don't have to say when you want to go. Mm -hmm. You need to give me a trigger for when you want your action to kick off and what you want to do. Oh. Like if you're if the ghasts hit someone or oh my bad I didn't realize okay that's a little different than what I thought it was okay um I was gonna uh um I was wanting to wait and see what Nora did yeah unfortunately um it's a little bit different than how we do it in Star Wars um if you know, you you can you can move okay. um but. If you want to hold an action, you need to say what that action is going to be and the trigger point for that action. So, like, for example, if uh, I want to cast, uh, I don't know. I wanna, oh, okay. You know, I, I want to I cast a Vicious Mockery if they get within five feet of Froseth, for example. Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, instead, what I'll do is I'll cast uh, enhance ability on uh, on Nora. Okay. Which uh, which one? Um, con. Okay. So bears endurance. Uh, that's the one. Thank you. I couldn't remember. Yes. That, that's why we. That's why we have books. <laughs> which means I'm gonna have to go look it up to figure out exactly oh. what it is that does. Um, no, Sorry, don't, 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 don't post the spell card. It's going to be huge because it covers all of them. Remember? Point. Uh, okay. Um, because it's, it's just going to clutter things up because it covers all of the abilities. Okay. So you'll re actually, Nora will remember the feeling of this because this is what Petunia did back in the day. So... You now have advantage on constitution checks, and you have eight temporary hit points on top of your current um, bonuses. I should have made you roll, but this is faster. Um, you don't happen to have any kind of, I don't know, bardic songy type thing, do you? Um, no, like, those guys over there, um, here, be a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, you do actually bear. I, you do actually remember you do get that feeling you remember from having petunia um essentially buffing you you do feel the same strength it, it feels like it's from a different source though um just because the magic in and of itself is different but you do feel that bolstering of your endurance, your you know, sh your ability to withstand shit, and you know, the the extra surge of life from those temporary hit points. Okay, so clarity. They rolled really badly on initiative. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. Um, 
uh, can I get to around um, here and throw Ash at this guy here? You can. Roll. Sixteen. That, that hits. Roll damage. Nice. Seven. Ash briefly embeds itself into this creature's shoulder. It doesn't really seem to notice. It's hard to tell whether that snarling noise it's making is pain or just hunger rage. But it 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 it's I mean, it, it's leaking some kind of fluid anyway. It's just uh, it's just hard to tell with undead whether you've actually hurt them unless they're literally falling apart. Okay, Ferocith. Oh, sorry. Um, bonus action. Actually, can I? Bonus action. Um, can I hide back here? You can indeed hide back there. Roll stealth. Yeah. Uh, 12. Okay, good to know. Okay. Um, now, Ferseth. Okay, uh, guess I'll run up to the one that, uh, got the dagger thrown at it. Okay, what's, what's your movement speed? 40 feet. Yeah, you can get there, no problem. Oh, yeah. Actually, you probably won't there. You don't want to get too close to the other one. Yeah. <laughs> and then I uh, let's let's start with trying the the fire comma. Uh, that, that one there. Ooh. That misses the uh, yeah. the, the, the 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 gas. Just it takes the wounded shoulder, bats it away with somehow without managing to touch the uh, the, the the flaming bit of it. Uh, so it's entirely unharmed. Bonus action. Okay, I I am going to use a key point to do flurry of blows, so I get two unarmed strikes for my uh -huh. bonus action. I think we know what flurry of blows means by now. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. It means shit's going to get fucked up. Yes, roll damage. Okay. And then again. Nope. Hey. That's, a, that's a critical miss. That. First critical you, tumble. The, the, the first one, you hit, you nail this thing in the face. The second time. Uh, oh, actually. That explains a lot of that. Um, make me a constitution saving throw. Uh, you had to do that anyway, so don't worry about it. Five. Uh, okay. You are currently poisoned. <clears throat> uh... I'm just trying to actually figure out, because all it says is poison, so it doesn't actually say what the effect of it is, mm. which is always wonderful. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. It's like, you're, 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 saying, you're saying standing within five feet of these fuckers poisons you, but it doesn't say what it actually does, the poison in particular. Okay. He gasps. It's a there. ghastly situation. I will smite uh, you. There is there is it a just straight me. up poison status effect from the looks of it. Poisoned creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Well, there you go. Um, and on top of that, because you did, uh, you did critically miss on that hit. You do also take one point of uh, poison damage because you wind up with. A basically a snout full of ghast stench. Uh, uh, and yes, you are currently uh, at disgusting. disadvantage on everything for the time being anyway. Yeah. That's that's gonna be fun for you. Congratulations. Okay. Uh Nora is next in the initiative role. Yes she is. order, yes she is. Uh 
Uh, my movement's 30 feet. I'm not close enough to get to anything, am I? No. Okay, I just want to, uh, let me see if I can get as far as I can with my movement then toward the one that Frost says taking on. And let's see what I can there. do. Okay, um, let me see. Hang on, let me check my spell card real quick, see what all I got that would actually reach and do any good. Um, what's this one do? Come here. Nope, that's not far enough. That I need to hit something for. You're about 15 feet from it. Okay, so that wouldn't be far enough, but it wouldn't do me a whole lot of good yet. Hang on, sorry, I'm double checking a lot of these because I'm actually having to pay attention to range now. Um, da, 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 da. That one might do some good. That does not work. Also does not work. A lot of my stuff is melee range, is self range. Um, oh wait, yeah, I have to hit that. Um, okay then, okay, I've got 60 feet on Compelled Duel. Mm -hmm. The one, you said I've got 15 feet to the one fighting Froseth. At an angle, I'm still well within 60 feet of the one on the shoreline, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's... Yeah, let me, let me fling Compelled Duel at that one, so that he'll come to me when he starts coming. Okay. And now it is, uh, rather unfortunately, the one, um, the, the one attacking Froseth's turn. I have uh, a shield, so I actually, I can impose disadvantage on anything that tries to attack. Within five feet. Is it five feet? I thought it was that's more you, than that. That's what you thing. told me. Hang on, let me double check. Uh, secret Oath, no, that's not it. Fighting style. Da, 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 da. Oh, it is five feet. Never mind. I misremembered. It is five feet. You need to be right up on them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Dang it. All right. You're a melee class. Okay. I know, which is why I had like nothing I could do just then. Right. Um, what's your AC for Seth? 16. Oh, shoot. I should have done that too. Oh, well. Uh, it bites you. This thing is hungry. You take the worst touch. Thirteen points of piercing damage. Ow. Ow. It then lashes out with claws. Oh fucking hell. A little better this time. Um, that's eight points of slashing damage. Oh, well, I'm not unconscious yet. <laughs> uh, Hazel, Pretty close, though. Hazel, <laughs> it is now your turn. Froseth is now bleeding and basically has this gas having grabbed Froseth by the shoulder and start nom 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 nom. Can I make it to him? What's your movement speed? Movement is, if I recall correctly, 30. You can make it there. So, close enough. So I'm with it, I can get up to him and touch him. You can. I am going to... Let's see, uh, Staff of Healing, let me just... Double check something. So you're basically in the same vicinity as Froseth, aren't you? Uh. Thankfully, you don't have to make a roll quite yet. Just, just flagging it up, because you're starting to get the feel of, of, I mean, Froseth isn't looking very good and it's not just because he's bleeding in places it, 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 looking a little bit green around the scales as well as uh, as well as the bleeding so something else is up and those things not being affected by it yet those things smell horrible can i dump three charges into the cure into its cure wounds ability to bring it up to third level cure wounds uh you i think so I can go up to fourth. Yeah, okay then. Then yes, you can. 
So that's three charges at a fourth level cure wounds. I'm. Uh, may I put the spell card? Yes. Up. It, the only reason I didn't want enhanced ability is because it's a really long spell with a lot. Yeah, because because it's all of the stats and it lists what each one of them do. So it would basically fill up the entire thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a wall of text. Right. Okay. Okay. So that's that's three d eight plus my spell casting ability modifier, which is three. Mm-hmm. Plus, uh, disciple of life, which two plus, which is another five. So, okay. So that's three d eight plus seven. No, plus eight. Okay. Just gotta get my roll right. You just had 26 HP dumped into you. But you still feel awful. Oh, then back to full health. (laughs) Yes, but you still feel awful. Poisoned. (laughs) Yeah. To be fair, you don't exactly know what it is. You just know this thing reeks. And you're yeah. really not feeling very well. <laughs> okay, Hope now the, the compelled, the compelled <laughs> oh, one God. 5, 10, 15, 20, comes up to Nora. Right about there. And because it's very hungry and it's very stupid, tries to bite the giant tin can. <laughs> And breaks a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> it Should've then, done that, should ya? It then lashes out with claws. And has no better luck. Skates across the shield. This thing is hungry. Very, very hungry. Okay. Stupid. Top of the round, Darwin. You know, it occurs to me that you should have used your movement. But you didn't. So you're still way over there. <laughs> Yeah, and well, there's a reason I was. I wanted everybody else to go forward, okay. and now I'll go. Now I'll come forward. Okay, where are you moving to? Uh, can I get there? Okay. Uh, what's your movement speed? Thirty. Yeah. Standard. Yes, standard yes, human. Okay. And so yeah. Okay, then uh, I'm gonna get there and rape your shot, right on it, right just uh, you know as normal. Okay. So, stab him in the face. yes, I'm going to try to stab it in the face. Can we go for the back of the head since the face is looking at me and that means that your rapier would be, you know, okay, cutting my side hair. of the head, side of the head because it's kind of angled. Yeah, 17 roll damage. Sweet, okay, eight thing five radiant. Yeah, it's that one did actually. That there something in that snarl there is actually pain. Of course, there is a cracked tooth in the front, and it it it's it, it's really not very happy. Uh, anyway, but um, uh, bonus, bonus action. Bonus I'd action. like to give. Uh, I'd like to give. I'd like to give Froseth, uh, an inspiration die. Um. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on a ditty. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had one a second ago, and it, it just, in the heat of the moment, now it's gone. Sorry. Uh, so Apologies. I, 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 I'd probably be riffing on everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I, let's put it this way. I'm, I was trying to avoid the, avoid making a ghastly pun of my own. So <laughs> uh, That's the thing. You're the bard. While you're being a bard, it's kind of expected of you. Fair. You're supposed to do that. It's out of character when I will smite you all. <laughs> I've done nothing other than stand here and be a tin can. Clarity. Well, that's the job. Clarity. Uh, um. <coughs> oh, sorry, frozen. I'm or, going no, to. No clarity was no, no, performing there. Uh, um. I'll pop out here and. Sorry, where? Show me again. And, here. Okay. 
because I don't kind of don't want to get too close to it because I see what it's doing to Dart or to Frosa. Um And I'm going to throw ash at at it again. Okay. Uh, wow. Roll damage. Twenty-three. Uh, and that's with sneak attack. So, uh, fourteen total. Okay, it's it it is starting to it, it's oozing a fair bit more right now, and and some of its snarls are starting to be more pained sounding. Bonus action. And um, I'm popping back behind the tent, right? We're back where okay, I was. Okay, roll stealth. <laughs> <laughs> Duck and cover! 25. Okay, good to know. Now, if memory serves this first, let's turn. Yep. I remember, you do have disadvantage on it. I know. <laughs> Dude, and an inspiration die. Attacks and ability. Oh, don't worry. You two have, still have it coming, Nora, Darwin. Oh, shite. I forgot about that. Oops. <laughs> let's see. Well, let, let's try to hit it. I can't do much else aside from trying to hit it, so let's do that. 16. Roll damage. Sweet. They're not that hard to hit. It's just you un unfortunately rolled really poorly. Yeah. Yeah, it's really starting to look rough. Although, frankly, the smell of cooking um, gassed flesh <laughs> is not helping. <laughs> Nora, you have started your turn within five feet of this thing. Make I still get a. Oh, bonus. sorry, you do get a bonus action. Sorry. I'm not. I'm not going to do the flurry, but I'll do the martial arts one free hit thing for a bonus action. Okay. Damn. <laughs> that is it. Well done. done. It's just, it's just having rolled the same That's number twice. Old roll. Scary. Roll damage. Yeah, it's it. You you've blacked its eye, which is just insult to injury, really. Okay, okay there. So constitution save, and I get advantage, you get advantage. right? You do get advantage. Yeah. All right, core seventeen. Oh, thank goodness! You do feel thank goodness. The, this the, 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 this thing. It's when the, there was a farmer not too far from your 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 parents in and they got really really sick and your dad went out to treat them and came back bitching about people who did not know how to manage their their compost where meat was concerned and the smell of him from having cleansed the whole nonsense that's that that's the smell coming off this, but worse. It's not that tainted honey smell, but it's rotted flesh and... Ew. But you, you can feel it trying to sort of basically do what it did to those, to those uh, farmers. But you're, 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 you're hardier than that. Although you get the impression that if it wasn't for a uh, Darwin's flailing about being a bear, it might not have come out quite so well. <laughs> Alright, so I think I input the Paylor's beacon stuff correctly. I think we will test it, because I'm going to try to hit it with it. So we'll see if I did this right. Uh, oh boy, that guy has eight log with his world. Eleven? That misses... I'm mad. You, okay. You, and you've, you've got, the thing is, you've got Darvin standing there, and you're trying to find a place to put your shield while you swing. And plus, you're used to the hammer, so you're going overhand. And this thing manages to duck. All right. So as a bonus action, I want to use another one of my spell slots to do, uh, I think it's called Divine Favor. Let me go back to my spells. It's going to give uh, AC plus two to somebody. Where to put it? That's Compelled Duel. Here we go. Yeah, Shield of Faith. Pardon me. Uh, uh, wanna... can, you, can, you, can you put the spell card up? Yep, that's what I was about to do. Shield of Faith, I'm going to do it on Darwin. Okay. Then that would put my AC at 16 total. Gotcha. 
so we've had every now the one that Froseth has been hold on oh sorry. has uh hazel gone again yet uh no because it's it's gassed hazel oh, got it. gassed got it that one's not dead yet <laughs> I know. No. I, I know you want them dead, but <laughs> the paladin thing, man. They're undead. They're unholy. They don't need to be. And I'd say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the 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 gas that's um the gas that was after Furseth is now kind of pissed off at this little half elf. That turned around and deprived him of his meal. He's gonna shift over to there, and yes, Roseth gets an attack of opportunity. Still at disadvantage. Yeah, let's see. It's still inspiration die. 13. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll use the inspiration. It's one. What? What? Die is your inspiration die at the moment? It's six at it the gets moment. It gets 1d6? He doesn't six. get eight. And it doesn't get 1d8 until next level. Oh, that early. Okay. So okay. add five to that. 18. That, that does, in fact, hit. Roll damage. Yeah. Nine. As, as it tries to flank him, Frosoth has had quite enough of this bullshit. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Swings backhand with the karma and whack right into the back of its head. It lands in a heap at Hazel's feet. Um, unfortunately for Hazel, she is still within five feet of one of these things. Roll me a constitution saving throw. Con save. Oh, man, it even counts if you're behind it. Oh, that's... Well, I did not know. I realized that. Wow. Eleven. Only just did you make this save. It, this, this is this, this is starting to turn your stomach, but you can fight <laughs> through it. You've changed. You've you've you've, you've 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 cleaned up enough messes of various organic uh. types around Homestead. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that the one that's behind you is now leaking fluids that smell even worse. <laughs> So, yeah, you're, you're, oh, you're dear. not a very happy little oh, half elf. But you can still... Smile, it blocks the gag reflex. <laughs> you can still... You're, 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 you're still... The, the, the green around around Frosus gills is starting to make somewhat more sense right now. But it is your go. And you still have one... Um, Kind of annoyed, looking, gassed, leaking. Um, is that where is that thing? That one, right? Relatively, there. in terms of like how far away is it from me? You're about it's you're about five feet. From, you're, you were sort of sandwiched between the two. Yeah, you're sandwiched between Froseth and that one. So, uh, gonna sacred flame it. Uh, has to succeed on a dex, yeah. or it gets yeah. well. I can, I can, read, <laughs> I can read, but yes, okay. Uh, but then again, I suppose given we're recording this, it's just as well. Good point. Well made. Uh, what is this thing's dex anyway? Yeah, uh, damage too. Yeah, it. Just make absolutely sure of the modifier. Yeah, that misses. Um, the sacred flame goes shooting between it and Darwin. Just f so uh, uh, Darwin against this comet of holy light goes streaking past his left ear. <laughs> that was close. Bonus action. <laughs> oh. I need that ear. I play by that ear. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a bonus action, Hazel, that you wanted to? Let's see. Uh, spiritual weapon this time. Okay, where do you want to put it? 
Uh, want to put it right there, net next to, basically sort of between myself and it as much as possible. And spell card for that. Oh, and it's at, um, that's it, that's it. Since this has a second level spell slot. And um, there you go. let's see. What should I have? What should I have it take the form of? I usually default to if if you're if you're undecided, I would imagine it would usually default to the weapon you use. Hammer. <laughs> so it's just this great honking, glowing hammer and melee spell attack. Because that thing's within five feet. So let's see. Uh, it is a D twenty plus five for spell attack. That is a nine. And again, Hazel, probably a little bit distracted by trying not to gag. Um, whiff. And Nora, Nora can just about feel the wind as this spiritual hammer uh, flies within about three feet of her face. Do I look like that to you? Do we need... Really? <laughs> oh, oh, it was the same right plan. It was the same plan. It was the same plan. <laughs> And it's it's still compelled to do all the giant tin can. Um, <laughs> ooh, no, that does not hit. I know your AC is. Seen that my AC eighteen. So it's it 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 tries to bite down, but by this point you're just sort of holding out an a, an arm and just letting it. Yeah, fine, you know. Tire yourself out. Go for it. Oh my god. <laughs> and the claws... You're, you're the cranky five-year-olding it. I... Yeah. The, yeah. the claws skate across your shield again. The mom friend is letting the toddler have the tantrum. Uh, top of the round. Darvin, first of all, make yep. me a constitution saving throw. Not Holy not. crap, Matt 20. You have been in smellier taverns than this. Ah! <laughs> it's bad, but you've been you've been to some really horrible tavern privies. <laughs> so you're fine. What do you want to do? Oh, it reminds me of an outhouse off. The... I think that reminds me of the outhouse on Star Coast, actually. <clears throat> I think I'm glad I never went in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was, this, was, this, this, this was this was a different. Pub closer into Reek Alley, so it had the fish as well as the uh, as well as the middens and then the outhouse as well. So yeah. Anyway. Anyway, uh, I'll just uh, I'll go ahead and rapier attack uh, and see how that go. Seventeen. Roll damage. Eight. Four and three radiant. Seven. Uh, yeah. It's 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 not it's not happy, but it's not not doing as badly as the other one was before. First, mm -hmm. it's the uh, comet it in the head. And bonus action, inspiration dice on Nora. Um, Nora, you're already a bear, so you know have some inspiration and save our butts. There, here. Yes. <laughs> lost, lost a train of thought. Now, beware didn't even occur to you? Kind of we insulting. need to get you a book of limericks, mate. The, 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 the fact that he missed that very simple trick inspires you to think of something better. Thus, you can take the inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> yes, brilliant. 
You bunch of lunatics. <laughs> oh, I had to come up with some reason why that would be a thing. Okay, clarity. Okay, um, I'm just gonna pop out right there, right, just basically step out and then, um, throw my dagger again. Okay. Oops, I don't know why. It's the same roll, but... <laughs> 14! Um, 14. Oh, I know, because you still had advantage on when you went back to hide. From and stealth, stealth, yeah. yeah. Okay, roll damage. And now it's starting to look a little, uh, a, a little put upon, as uh, all of a sudden you see, foomp, there's a, all of a sudden there's a dagger sort of jammed in its upper torso, and then poof, it's gone again. Um, I'm. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll just get behind the tent again. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what else to do. Well, Robbie, Robbie still. <laughs> Bloody ninja. <laughs> Holy shit! Really? You get it? really? Yeah, bas basically, you just, 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 you're sure Clarity was over there, but there's absolutely no trace that she was there, so now you're confused. <laughs> it's like, did she just literally vanish? What just happened? <laughs> was there another thing we didn't know about that got Clarity? What, 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 what? I didn't hear anything terrible. I don't think so. <laughs> I haven't seen any badgers. She's not doing that. Walking against the wind, crap. <laughs> Frozen. Okay, I'll I'll move like down and around to get in melee with the the okay. other one. There. Yeah, that'll work. And. Already poisoned. Oh. There's not much poison yeah. we can do to you. <laughs> Let's see. I'm still set to disadvantage. Yes. Still hits. You're, you're <laughs> absolutely pissed. <laughs> Dude, God. Full damage. Just cracked it one. Yeah. The 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 smell of cooking flesh is is it does isn't making things any better but did you have to use the fire one mm. bonus action yeah i'm gonna use another key point again and kick it a few times <laughs> or try to <laughs> hopefully not into the fire we're nowhere near the fire <laughs> we're nowhere near the table either no, you were closer to the table than you were to than you are to the fire now. <laughs> okay, that nope. one misses. Second one. Nope. Oh no! Oh, that no. is humble. The second one. The, the the first one he misses. The second one he very nearly staggers to his knees. He's clearly not looking well. <sighs> the one that was between Ferocith and Hazel is now dead. So, Hazel! Uh, no. Oh, no. Me. Oh, no, that's right. Sorry. Uh, Nora first, then me. I tend, I tend to lose the initiative order when the, when the, when the rolls okay, well, keep I'm, coming. I'm gonna try again to smack the thing and see if I put Paylor's Beacon information in correctly. Well, you so put, let's you, see what happens. Well, you, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use the inspiration die, um, and that's a D six. You guys said. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. D six. I got a ten. And it still misses. I'm apparently not gonna hit anything today. Yeah, the pay pillow's beacon has turned around. It basically, you could hear it going. You picked me up with all that hardship and strife for this. I'm used to a hammer! Quit complaining! <laughs> I'll quit complaining when you actually put me to more use than just a, some kind of fly swatter. <laughs> hey, don't make me turn this beach around. <laughs> Does anyone but her hear the sword? Yes, everybody hears the sword. Okay, I wasn't everybody sure how it talked. Everybody can hear the ramblematic light blade Excalibur thing. Okay, you have a bonus action. 
Nah. None of them are worth it. Okay. They all burn spell slots and I only have one left. Hazel. Me? Mm-hmm. Uh, can I switch to my hammer putting away the staff? Yes, you can. I'm gonna hit this thing because I am so done with it! <laughs> Alright! 24! Roll damage. You have the thunder damage uh, attached to that now, don't you? Yup. Okay. I that's nine bludgeoning two thunder. Okay. Just... How do you want to do this? <laughs> I am just going straight two-handed overhand to try to turn this to make this thing as flat as possible. Just from standing to oh pancake. God, no. No. Oh god, no. Oh god, god squish. Oh back god, squish. Can uh, I see it coming and back up? Unfortunately. <laughs> Oh, this is not going to wash you're, out. You're, 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 you're doing, you're doing the, you're doing the, 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 let the little kid have its tantrum thing. When all of a sudden, within an inch of your fingers comes the hammer. Wham! It doesn't completely flatten the thing, but legs break its vertebrae, its, 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 its cervical <laughs> vertebrae compress. Its skull flattens. And there is this boom! noise. It, it, it doesn't do any damage, but it kind of hurts your ears a little bit. Um, and then this thing sort of crumples into this wet, slightly broken heap, and all three of you are liberally splattered with gas bits. And they smell worse than the un undamaged thing did. <laughs> Hazel, you owe me a new wardrobe. Yeah, Hazel has managed to keep out of the, the, the splashback, funnily enough. Could you have said something? Anything. <laughs> Bonus action, I'm wiping some of it off and flinging it at Hazel. I, I, I'm at the point where like, I almost don't care roll, if there's everybody here. I'm about to strip out of this armor and go jump in the river. I don't even care. Roll, roll, okay. First of all, first of all before we do anything else, before that before that happens, I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but you might, this might change your immediate response. Darvin. Huh? Roll me a ranged attack. You're not proficient in it, so to guess, just dex. Just a 1d20? Plus yeah. whatever my dex modifier is? Yep. Nineteen. <laughs> How did you get nineteen <laughs> total? Because my dex modifier is three. So <laughs> you watch as Darvid basically scrapes up this thing. You're pretty sure his brain. It's got some chunk of of, of <laughs> skull and scalp still attached to it. Flings it at Hazel and it lands right in her face. <laughs> I'm going to turn around and vomit. <laughs> this camp is going to smell wonderful. <laughs> I'm getting in the river in my gambeson and my under trousers. I'm leaving the armor on the shore. I'm getting this stuff out of my hair. I come back up from the river. I'm going to start cleaning my armor and refuse to talk to any of them. I'm sitting by the fire. Uh, pretty much cleaning what I can and, and, and just basically just it's the smell. I just want the gone. The smell gone. Just Anybody off. need some prested did you do have that? Do oh, have that? yes, please. Actually, wait. Like, I'll, get, I'll get down there, come out, and then I'm like <laughs> and I'm soaking wet and then go, wait a minute. And then remember I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, I'll do it to Bruce up then. Uh, yeah, yeah. He still looks really unwell. Is there any way that I could check to see if I, in character, know that this is poison? Um, those of you who have some kind of... Is there any chance I would have heard about these things, these whites, and know what they do from the tavern stories? I mean, anything. I was going to start with anyone who has medicine as a proficiency could make a medicine check. Doing it. Despite my not feeling so great. Yeah, well, you, by by this point, you'll have cleaned up. By the, I'm 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 assuming that everybody took the time to clean up. And while Dar and while Froseth is still, you know, it's, <laughs> while Froseth has been cleaned, he still looks unwell. Twenty-three. Yeah. Twenty-one. 
Yeah, you both know what this is. <laughs> I'm just going to walk can over. Can anyone to do anything about poison? I, can anybody do anything about poison? Yeah, I, I, I can. can. What are you? Was that? What I'm already doing you? it. That's a restoration, Froseth. You don't need to burn a spell slot. I have lay on hands. No, but that's just hit points. Yeah, lay on hands is just HP. No, it's not. Lay on hands does some other stuff it too. It's poison too. It does. Yes, it absolutely if, if does. If you're already going to, if you're, I mean, this is the evening. Why does it matter if she burns spells? It, there is a point there. I didn't realize it was already. Oh yeah, it is evening because we're stopping. Yeah, we were. We were setting up camp for the night. Your blessing touched me. I was playing wounds. so fast and loose with everything because I knew we had to didn't have to go anywhere. Your blessed touch can heal wounds. You have a pool of healing power that replenishes you and take a long, re uh, long rest, blah, blah. Uh, as an action, you can touch a creature and draw power from the pool to restore a number of hit points up to maximum. Alternatively, you can spend five hit points from your pool of healing to cure the target of one disease or neutralize one poison affecting it. You can cure multiple diseases and neutralize multiple poisons with a single use of lay on hands, expending hit points separately for each one. Okay. Uh, that is good to know for future reference. I'm just wondering, you know, this... I forgot this, it was evening time. Yeah, that, that, that's the thing, though. By, by the point at which he's asking, Hazel would have already figured it out. Since she did beat him out on the roll, yeah. she, she'd already know and would already be uh, actively doing the thing. When, you know, as Forsyth was asking, Hazel would have diagnosed and already be reaching for it. And I'll start popping press the digitation on anybody that wants to get yeah, cleaned by, up quickly. By this, by this point, I'm assuming everybody's still, everybody's been cleaned up. And... Cool. Vom, one healthy dragonborn. Oh, thank you. Oh. Those things are disgusting. A little bit. You can all make an Arcana check to see if you know what those are? Fifteen. That is a six. I have Seven. no clue. Twelve. All you really know is that they're disgusting. Um, Nora is aware that they, you know, given the the whole poisonous thing, they're 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 clearly not zombies, and they were smart enough to be able to identify Hazel as uh you know the 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 author of Froseth going from very badly wounded to not anymore so they're not your you know, they're not your 100% sta bog standard undead clarity will know them as ghasts um i mean they uh, according to the book what she would know is that actually it makes sense she knows about them um and that, that that's more ghouls, but ghasts, rather like ghouls, do um, trace their origins to the abyss. But now uh, they 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 tend to wander. But they're usually a little smarter than this. They don't normally come wandering out and attacking campsites where they are vastly outnumbered. Hmm. They speak common, in point of fact. Strange that they'd be here. They must have been pretty desperate. Well, what are they besides nasty? Uh, I share what you just said. <laughs> um, the gas come from the abyss. Um... But, yeah, they should not have attacked us. Um, I mean, unless... Uh, the only thing I, I can think of is that maybe they were desperate for food, things to eat. Ew. Could what something have driven make, them? What would make things like that desperate to find food? Aside from lack of it? All of you... Well, but what would cause that? All of you make me a nature or survival check. <clears throat> Well, I have same scores in both, so I vote for me. Eight, twenty. 20. Oh, nice. Oh, I don't have disadvantage Five. anymore, but oh, I got fourteen. Yeah, you're you're still you're still you're you're still 
start breathing. Hazel's the one that comes up with it first. Clarity's not that far behind. Um, these are undead. You don't... It's... it's there. You guys will remember uh, back at Star Coast, back in the Undercity, before it was raised. You remember where the Noth, that hole the Nothic came from? And the other people... Uh, in oh. the other bits of the sewers and other things like the mimic and some other stuff you very narrowly missed the last time and there's a whole ecosystem Hazel and Clarity reason under that city and they would have preyed on you know, the people who weren't taken in by Mira's band or uh, you know, and if 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 Mira's band hadn't been there to clear them out, then they would have probably been a bigger problem than they looked to be in the Star Coast. There's no prey for them up there anymore, and you don't know how deep that fog goes. I guess I'm not that close to everything. No, you, yeah, well, you're not. You're out. not. But it's been over a week. Then that's spreading a lot faster than I accounted for. No, it's not the mist that's spreading, Hazel will know. It's that the the creatures that would have been living in those sewers, there's no more prey for them up there. they got to look further afield. These things got to have come from Star Coast. I mean, if they were down in the, 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 the bottom basement, bottom level, and, and there's no more food over there because everybody's, you know... Yeah, yeah. Non-edible. <laughs> they non probably they they've come all the way out here looking for 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 well chew toys and food. Well, to have gotten meal. this far in a week, that's they probably yeah. just didn't stop moving. I mean, they're undead. Why would they? They don't need to rest. No, but if they're not finding food sources between there and here either, who says they aren't? But why would they be here if they were? Yeah, Maybe enough they to, enough to keep going. Mm -hmm. But not enough to not be still hungry. Probably the probably best they could catch was squirrels. Or not moose. That's that that see that would have been big enough for them to not jump us. Maybe they just have preferences. Mm -hmm. Either way, Hazel, we got to keep Hazel going. And Hazel and Clarity will notice that there is a distinct <clears throat> lack of the <clears throat> usual bird song scrolls on tree branches the kinds of noises hazel's used to hearing in the the you know, in in the wooded areas near home none of that's making any noise so it's either run away or eaten so question anybody hear anything like at all let's just take just stop and take a listen mm, no that's right you see you hear a nothing so <laughs> That's not oh, normal, you fancy All pants right. Right. It is. Yeah, yeah. Pants. That's not normal. I'm going to back her up on this one. Somewhere like this, there should be... Remember the, a, remember the, remember the way back noticed, from, from, gold, from like Goldendale? Oh, oh, gotcha. Okay. Noise. Hooting. Yeah, over the Nowhere combat, in the wilderness the is completely and, silent. Yeah, over the combat and the river and the fire, I hadn't noticed, but there's nothing. And there should be things. Birds. Be quiet. That is creepy. That's crickets. Okay. Crickets, you generally at, more find no, where I there's didn't. more grassland. To be fair, but mo but I see yeah. grass on the map. I thought, uh, that, but it's it's not grassland. It's just a grassy verge, and there's more trees further up. I just wasn't gonna make the entire map because the last time was a little too big. <laughs> that, that everything is running. <laughs> that's gotta be it. Everything, everything living, every. Everything living is running, and everything not living is following it because it's where the food's going. Running or eaten. Either way. So. Yeah, well, that explains why Squishy McGee and Squishy Magoo are here. <laughs> Tweedle Squish and Tweedle Squash. Yeah, that, actually, that's a good question. They're dead what now. did you do with the bodies? <laughs> I was about to say that. Um. Would I know if it's safe to burn them? Move them down. Do we want to burn them with the smell? Stop. 
Three well, seconds. I'm, I mean, sometimes fire can get rid of smells. You did. You did smell it when uh, Froseth hit it with the fire comma. Okay. Um, so that's a no. So, I vote Barry. I was gonna right. say. Mm -hmm. I don't vote Barry because it could that taint the land and make this even worse. Hold on. Look. To be fair, it doesn't smell like the same kind of taint. It's not. It's not the. It's not the the alchemical honey taint. It's can just I use, undead. Can I use divine sense just to make sure it's just undead? Yeah. yeah. Here, I'll drop the spell card. I'll drop the spell card in, in two. Uh, okay. Uh, the fact that it registers on your senses like a noxious odor when the corpse is already reek. Um... This is this is not as serious like it was with Froseth, but still make me a Constitution saving throw. And by this Am point, I still under. I was no, gonna ask. no. By, by this point, it that will have that will have been dropped. Mm -hmm. Go to the right page. Seventeen. Yeah, you're 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 managing to keep your here the 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 you, you haven't eaten yet, but you feel you probably will be able to just. When, when when this is over you're not not like hazel uh, completely losing your last meal but yeah it's it's these are bog standard undead these aren't these aren't leakage from you know, from fog tainted or anything else like that they are they are i mean they're they're nastier than your average zombie you know you're you're it, they're they're more than your average risen corpse as well, you could but that you could tell from yeah combat uh, okay so ugh, ugh. i don't want to eat for a little bit but these aren't related to the fog necessarily they're they're they feel smell whatever long story more like regular normal undead i mean so <laughs> the best way to get rid of undead bodies is probably the best thing to do with these things I'm not even gonna lie i ugh. Uh, so what is that? Religion check from Nora and Hazel. And in in fairness to uh, in fairness to Clarity in particular, because we know Hazel's bad words, they actually Crystal. they actually said that these weren't from the fog; they were from the Undercity, under the fog. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, Nora's Crystal. Nora's still trying to you know go. I'm gonna stand over here. So that I will actually be able to manage dinner tonight, because I need to keep my strength up and not skip meals. But that's just foul. Um, Hazel is a cleric. She knows the appropriate prayers to say over the ground to consecrate it. She can she can bury these if 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 they dig the holes. She can say the appropriate prayers and bury these things in consecrated ground, so it won't do any nasties to the soil. We need a couple of holes to put these things in and and like, I'll help dig I have ten minutes where. for me to sort this out. Tell me where. I'll help dig. Yeah, there's there's a there's a couple of spots out just uh sort of uh, diggy, diggy. off the off closer to the trees. Uh off yeah off the map in sort of that direction there's a, a little clearing a gap that you can bury things in and have them be away from the camp. Let's do that then. I'll, I'll, I'll like drag the bodies close together then use my frost breath to freeze them so they're not all like melting. Squidgy? Squidgy will care. Well, they get carried over there. That also <laughs> stops the smell. Hooray! Oh, Why bless you, Froseth. Why did none of us think to ask you to do that sooner? <laughs> <laughs> what an unexpected bonus! <sighs> I can breathe. Oh God, Froseth, I, I love can, you. I can breathe clearly now. Those brains are froze. <laughs> we need to have lessons with you about how to be a bard. Just saying. 
you absolute doofus. <laughs> so the holes are dug. The frozen corpses are left inside. Uh, Hazel uses the appropriate uh, oils and prayers over the uh, over the graves, and the 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 smell that wasn't the physical bodies for Nora was still kind of lingering a little bit, but. When Hazel is finished with her with her prayers for the the you know, the 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 consecration of these bodies that were probably alive once, so you know, uh, walk in Paylor's light and try not to get sent back as ghasts the next time, um, or <laughs> <laughs> usual Hazel prayers, that also dissipates. So the place feels not hugely holy, but they cancel each other out. So it's still too quiet. But it doesn't feel like evil of any description. It's just a forest where nothing but you guys are living within earshot. Nap time. You guys, yes. you guys haven't quite done dinner yet, so there's that. Yeah, I think oh. I think we should do dinner first. Okay. Particularly and then the one that lost their lunch. I I didn't sense anything else, at least within sixty feet of us, that would have been a problem. But still, I think sleeping in shifts would probably be a good idea. Well, we're yeah, we're good. that's yeah. The whole better. keeping watch thing. Yeah. Thought that was a matter mm. of course. I, I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. How are you going to organize the watches? I'll do. I'll take first watch. I will too. Uh, I didn't take any damage. I'm. I'm good. Fair. I think the only person who really did was Rosa. <laughs> and I, I got <laughs> healed back and up to full. And, and you know what? I was dealt two hit points. <laughs> I. Uh, I'm the only you... one that was. I'm like. <laughs> Eh. It's bad, but eh. yeah. But to be fair, the, the the others managed okay. They just thought. Ugh. Where Seth would normally volunteer for first watch, I think he's gonna volunteer for last this time after that fight. To, to, to be fair, he's usually up meditating before anybody else anyway. So yeah. Um, I'll take second. Um, nothing happened to me. I wasn't close enough. <laughs> I'll probably join Clarity on that second watch. Okay, dinner is had. Um, and I'm assuming from the sounds of you that it's you know, straight straight up tucked in for those of you who are taking the various watches. Um, okay. Um, in a pile, same as usual. <laughs> Nora and Darvin, make me a perception check. I had a question before we went to bed, though. Okay. Um, how many how many um, potions did we get from uh, Hazel's parents? You got three graders. Okay. Um, do we want to divvy them out? And I don't think that they should be necessarily all in the bag of holding. I don't necessarily see why not. I mean, it, we've got, I'm on one watch and Hazel's on another, but probably wouldn't be a bad No, plan. but I mean, just in yeah, case. I, I, it probably wouldn't be a bad plan at all. Needs it. So I'll pull out and I'll hand one to Froseth and, and Clarity here. And Darvin, why don't you hold on to this one? Oh, okay. Just hold on to it. Right. Thank you. So he's done his and perception, you, and you still you still have the leftover um, of your uh, of your regular healing potions as well. So I don't think you took all eight. I thought we did. I don't think did all eight of them. Uh uh Okay. We had maybe two. Yeah. Okay. You were. You, you still were got six of those. Really cagey about using them. 
I'd rather have them and not need them than need them than not have them. I Yes, but then okay. don't then don't so... insist that you have them. Oh look, dog. Yeah, cat dog. <laughs> All right, cat so dog. perception check because everybody else is asleep, so thirteen. And I got an eight. It's a it, it's a quiet night. It's it's probably a little too quiet for uh, Nora. For for Darwin, it's always too quiet because uh, he's he's used to late night carriages going past. And... Yep. And I got a little bit of um, I, I wanted Nora wanted to talk to Darwin, so hmm? if he didn't. Oh. If there's nothing else from the DM, no. We... Okay. Um. Well, nothing that your perception checks justify, well, at least. Yeah, that, that's what I was. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I wasn't running over anything else you were about to tell us. Um. You know that when uh, Lyra at the shrine mentioned how guilty I get, there's a reason for that that uh, nobody else would. I don't even know if you'll understand, but you're probably the closest one who would. I, I know what it's like. To, what, I know what the cost is of failing all this. I. <laughs> Hazel's not the only second generation adventurer here, but she's the only one who didn't know it. My my father is a cleric and my of Palor, and my mother <laughs> was a bard what? before the what? <laughs> Yeah, this, what? I I'm, 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 I'm just wondering if on... was Darwin one of the ones who'd worked in no. it already? No. Oh no. no, it was Har it was no. it was first and Hazel, yes. wasn't it? Uh huh. That's why I'm mm -hmm. like, wait, what? Just making sure, because I didn't remember. My mother was a... Did, seriously, I... It's... I don't tell stories that aren't mine, but your raising shapes you, and come on. I'm giving you lyrics. I'm giving you... I'm telling you how to use a rapier. Come on. Well, yeah, it makes sense now. <laughs> I just... I heard all these stories, and some of them I wasn't meant to hear. Because when you grow up in a tavern, you don't always get noticed. The, the armor doesn't help now, but yeah. I know yeah, I what I the cost of the failing is, and I don't know that I'm ready to pay that. And I should do better. I should know to do better. And here I am having failed twice, and, and if... I know Lyra says I shouldn't feel guilt for that, and but I don't know. Failed twice. What do you? What? Hmm. Star Coast was a failure. It was, and and Hazel and Clarity. Did, I don't like telling stories that aren't mine. But what happened to them on the way to get the sword <laughs> to get Paylor's Beacon? That was a failure. Uh, yeah, when people and neither of die. Those were your fault. Uh, that's debatable. When people uh, die, no. it's a failure. I'm the one that cast the spell that killed both of them. On that case, and I'm the one that lost everything in Star Coast. Neither of those were your fault. The one was a no-win situation, and the other one was patently. If it was anyone's fault, it was mine. Yes, it was a mistake. Yes, we talked about it. Yes, I've dealt with it. However. Mm -hmm. mm. It's my job to stand the breach. It's an oath I swear when I take up the shield. And I'll get there. I'll, I'll... But in the meantime, it's hard. And my father would probably yell at me. And my mother would probably be yelling at me too. But when you grow up knowing what you're supposed to be and you're not there. And you aren't succeeding in what you're supposed to do. It's hard. I get that, but, and yeah, okay, feel guilty for the things that are legitimately your fault. Neither of those two things are. Maybe I'll believe that one day. One was a no, one was a no win situation. Like I told, like I told Froseth, given how quickly that crap spread, <sighs> I mean, if we could have possibly knocked it into the other corner, maybe. Uh, Darvin, hmm. make me a wisdom check. Okay. 
Just a second. Let me get back to that page. Actually, no. To be fair, there's probably be more intelligence. Oh, okay. Um, that's just clicking on the actual. Yeah. yeah. Click on the word right. intelligence on that. Yeah. Got it. Okay. I couldn't remember. I was like, wait, that's saving throw. I know. I I do that too. Eight. You're not sure, but it there seems to be it's like you're probably not going to say this because you are Darwin, you are reasonably kind, but you get the feeling that you don't remember what it was, but when Nora says there's something that yeah, there might have been something that she could have done. You don't remember what it was that she could have, but there's a sense that you've seen something that backs that up. But you don't know what it is. <sighs> Given the whole situation in Star Coast, that whole fight could have gone differently sure but it didn't it was like what our first real big thing that we dealt with we did we barely knew each other and had no real clue how we meshed as a team I mean, you know, I tell the stories, you know, I tell the stories about the, the grand adventuring parties and all their, their hijinks and everything. And, you know, you don't hear about the times where they were just starting out. It's always, you know, they've been, they've been teaming together for years and they know each other and they know how each other fights. It's nobody ever sings about the first couple of missteps. It's mistakes will be made. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes that have cost us, me, a lot. I don't That's... feel guilty over that anymore, and I don't blame any of you. And you shouldn't either. I get the feeling. I get that. I'm not what I was supposed to be. I'm actually not what I was supposed to be, apparently, according to my parents, at least. But just you just do. Like you said, just be better. Like you said, just be better. Pardon me while I while I spout you. <laughs> like, it was that good advice. That's so terrible. That turn of phrase is awful. We need to work on that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. We do. But give me a time to write, and I can come up with something great. Off the cuff, not so much. Fine, I'll hold you to that. Come up with something great. Fair enough. But you continue being great. I'm glad someone thinks I am. I'm strong to try to resist the urge to point at the sword and go and going, yeah, I'm not the only one. Mm. Like I said, you're worthy. So at which point Paylor is being just going, I would appreciate it if you could hit something with me next time, but you did keep everyone else from getting eaten. So that's quite all right. And that's quite the backhanded compliment, but thanks. No, um, sometimes, some, sincere. sometimes you need the shield rather than the sword. Oh, we lost clarity. Mm. Oh. No. Well, bollocks. <laughs> well, poop. Well, we are coming up. Uh, uh, um, coming right. on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Let's see. Well. If... Hold on. Yeah, ah, there yeah we I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. At, at, at which point, <laughs> Pal everybody Pal froze. Yeah, at which, which point, Paler's Beacon also goes. Um, also, I might point out, particularly to the bard, that uh, he's not in a crowded tavern. He might want to watch his volume. Oh. People uh. are trying. Pe people are trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna lean over to Darwin. And just thank you, and give him a little kiss on the cheek. 
And if we're at the end of the watch session, I do want to, because it is so unnaturally quiet and that's bugging me in character, I want to one more time because I can cast Divine Sense and see if there's anything up. And I'm just like turning colors <laughs> quietly. Okay. Uh, within the within sixty feet of you, you don't sense anything. Honestly, it's probably adding to the. It's too quiet. Like I said, it is too quiet. This is the one thing I can't do. I'm gonna. You, Let's you try. Do, it. You do. You do have a uh, flitty watching you, and it apparently notices that you're fairly looking a little bit uncomfortable because you hear this. Desperately awful attempt at uh at, at an owl hoot from from the truck. I'm just saying it. Yeah, if that busts me out of the out of the out of the turning colors. I'm just like. <laughs> it just gives you this look like if you you're you're not wearing the helm, so it really is just this inquisitive sort of. Look, that you've probably been around fairy dragons enough by now. You know what I mean? So am I helping? <laughs> so, oh my god, that was the cutest thing me, ever. I'll pull the helm out of the bag and stick it on real quick because that takes all of 30 seconds. Am I helping? You look uncomfy. I don't know what that sound was. But it was adorable, whatever it was. <laughs> you, you just you just hear quiet because it it kind it would be kind of like bat wings so flip, 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 flip the tree. It's not a lot of sound and it won't wake up the people <clears throat> that are asleep or trying to, but it's actually giving that a little bit of impression of night sound. <laughs> Just to, I, just to make the country mice feel a bit I more think comfortable. I think Woody is trying to uh, help things feel a little more natural. I'm gonna oh, that go is wake up. I'm gonna go wake up Hazel and say, <laughs> "You should probably hit your bed." Yeah, I'll go. I'll go on to sleep myself. Thank you. And with the 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 trying far too hard sound of uh, fairy dragon hooting, um, <laughs> we will uh, take our break and. Okay. Uh, pick up our uh, pick up the cupcake coterie's journey to the hearth when we come back in about five minutes back um after the yes i saw that thank you um after the uh ghast attack and uh, some some heart to heart ishness uh between the the two uh adorables that uh anybody who actually watches watches this probably ships by this point um it's a moderately quiet uh, evening. Um, Flitty tries for as long as he can stay away. Just flit, flit, flit. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Hazel oh. will hear at some point, just, I'm helping. 
It is adorable. <laughs> we just started our watch, right? Yeah, and it's we're 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 we're, we're gonna skip forward a little bit. It's and it's it's too quiet <laughs> apart from Flitty for as long as he can stay awake. Like, boop, boop, and eventually he sort of uh, curls up on top of Hazel's head, just going. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. I need sleep. <laughs> um, Forsyth takes watch and has, again, a fairly uneventful, largely meditative. Is there anything any of you guys want to do, say, talk about on your watches? I've got nothing. Oop. Uh, I thought that and was going to happen. And there goes my fellow watch person. I she was frozen for yeah. a while. Only thing I've got left to do is at dawn um, see what my chart might regain roll, charges are. Roll, roll for it while we're uh, while we're waiting on clarity. I regardless is probably going to bring it back up to the max because you, you did use like uh, you used like three charges, didn't you? Yeah, he only one d six plus four. So regardless of rolls, back up to max. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I know. Let's let's just let's just hope it uh, it it sticks. Is there anything Clarity wanted to do? Say, talk about in watch. Um, not in particular. Okay. Um, Froseth, I'm assuming meditates for most of his. Yeah, basically. In in so far as he can actually focus when it's like, is something going to come to attack us again? Yeah. <laughs> um. He, he, he manages to get a, a halfway decent come come the come the morning um as per usual hazel is the last one up but the the rest of you wake up to find froseth uh, you know, doing his doing his meditation thing every so often you just sort of see his head sort of twitch like it kind, kind of like a radar dish just mm. <laughs> <Nope. laughs> okay <laughs> back in this is breakfast <laughs> Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Um, is it Flitty, breakfast? Flitty is, Flitty is still on top of his head. On top Good of her head. Just, okay. just sit there, Hazel. We'll work out breakfast. And I'm going to you know, point to one of the logs. Go sit. It's okay. okay, so <laughs> okay. As, as far as I can tell, she's still mostly face down in her bedroll. She's not last of the great morning. I thought she'd stumbled out, but okay. Yeah, it just sort of looks up from pillow. Hair in disarray, sort of around flitty. It's just, it's, okay. It appears, appears up equally sleepily. Just... Uh, excuse me, flitty, and I start brushing out some of the knots from <laughs> Hazel's hair. Aww. I am face down again. <laughs> Breakfast, I'm assuming, is arranged. There's there's plenty of foodstuffs to be uh, to be had, and uh, you know, depending on how much time you want to spend on it, it's a, a reasonable uh, morning meal. Praise Paylor for good food. Praise Paylor, we all made it out all right last night. We did fine. I know. It was nice. That was one of our better fights. <laughs> and Only one of us almost died. Oh. This. <laughs> Sorry, for a second. <laughs> <laughs> better me than anyone else, really. Mm, well, that didn't great. come out right. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, wait a second. We like you. We want to, We want you around. Yes. Yes, Fl Flitty at that point does sort of land on top of Fursa's head and just a friendly nuzzle. Oof. I like you. <laughs> I don't know what that one said, but I, I probably agree. <laughs> he looked happy, so I think I'm with you. I, I, I don't know. It wasn't draconic, so I got nothing. <laughs> So, barring oh, anything no else, okay. bar barring anything else, 
breakfast is had and you are back upon the river. Um, you have still got about a day and a half's worth of travel um, at the speed so that you're currently managing before you get to the hearth. Um, is there anything you want to be doing on that journey? Uh. I'm still just going to keep going through the notes that that Estan sent me. Just yeah, keep it's, nothing here. It's, it's, I'm just... it's, it's not giving you that much more than you already had. It's just uh, a, a bit more detail because he's clearly trying to write it for the ages. So yeah. there, there, there's a lot of notes, uh, paragraphs of things that he wants to turn into a philosophical paper. Um, yeah, you get uh, some fairly uh, interesting insights into Estan being as, as, as impatient with himself as he is with everybody else. And you, 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 you'll, you'll, you'll get this, this, this flowery bit of prose about a note that's uh, in, in the upper margin that ends with something, oh, bloody fucking hell, this isn't working at all! <laughs> <laughs> um, right, I basically try did. again! <laughs> and, and he's just written it all down, just so he can actually read what his thought process is. He's very meticulous about everything, even his fuck-ups. <laughs> You know, at least the man's consistent. I'll give him that. I will absolutely give him that. Um, I was just going to say, you know, aside from, you know, keep an eye on, on Shoreline and just in general, um, basically just playing a little traveling music. Nothing, any real, just sort of give, just give, blinking away. Give, give me a performance check. Okay. <laughs> we got to let him roll it sometime. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, you get you get some you get some pretty nice. it's a pretty impressive traveling music. It's uh, it's it, it's it's the the kind of thing you see him sort of leaning out by the uh, by the, you know, on, on the bow of the boat, looking looking around and just you know, on the field. And you can hear him uh, putting together bits of bits of lyric and uh, trying to set them to to tunes, and it's all sounding quite nice. And it distracts from the fact that the woods around you are insanely quiet. Yep. Oh, while he's doing that, I'm looking on the side of the the river bank where he's not looking. So yeah, I, I just kind, sort of I kind scanning of out this. for yeah. Stuff. There, there, there's just nothing. There really is just absolutely nothing, as far as you can tell. There's, and it's it's it shouldn't be this quiet when you came the last time. There was, birdie, fishy, moose, not moose. <laughs> But, Not moose, yes. But, <laughs> but no moose. No, they were actually moose. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. But what they I, were actually moose. But what, what, I, moose. what I mean is now there is no moose and no no moose. <laughs> I love this became a thing. As you draw towards evening, you do start approaching where you remember the frowning trout would normally be. And it's, I mean, the, the building is certainly still there. Uh, perception check from Darwin and Clarity, since they're the ones who've been keeping a lookout. 13. 11. Clarity notices that the door to the frowning trout has been kicked in. From a fair, she notices this from a relatively... A relatively good distance away. Just she notices you know, that should be more blending in with the wall, but now that's a dark hole, and it doesn't look to be it, it's it's shaped a bit wrong. So the door must be hanging out of the frame a bit somewhere. Uh, so I get the attention of the others. Um, do you see that the the frowning trout's door it looks like it's been kicked in? What? I'm gonna try and look. Yeah, well, it, uh, when she points it out to you, you can see. Hmm. Hell. Um, not really in a position to be able to check it out right now, anyway. So. Well, to be I fair, mean, this would be around when you need to stop. This for is the a night stopping anyway. point. Yeah. Oh, he missed that. This is a stopping point, Darwin. Uh, oh. Um, yeah. We should be careful. 
Uh, That's a word for it. Am I within enough range for my for my stuff to work? No, you're still you're still a couple of hundred feet. I mean, okay. you're, you're 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 the 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 dock is coming up uh, like a good fifty yards away. It's just noticing the the shape and color of the doorway is wrong. Got it. Well. As good a place to stop as any, isn't it? Even if... Um... We needed to, but... Mm. All right. Let's get to that dock, then. And you, you, you head to the dock, and you tie up, but it's still incredibly quiet. I'm out of the boat, and up yeah, there, partway... There, there's a... There's a there, there, might, there might be a slight creak creak noise, but those of you who are used to quieter than cities recognize that as a wind, the hinge on window shutters just sort of creaking a bit in the breeze. I'm going to just stop where, they, where the dock ends and, and wait for everyone else. Oh. Given how often I've been, you know, been here, it's like, this doesn't, this isn't, this is weird. There's like a village around, right? Cause no, the, 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 the frowning trout is just its own little outpost. Uh, Remember, because okay. we, we went down from here and then we got attacked by five lights and there was like nothing. Right, right, right but I, lights. yeah, I was just wondering because, you know, it's a tavern and so. And no, it's, 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 for, it's for people who are bringing stuff out from. Uh, from Star Coast or the Hearth or someplace. It's, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a traveler's rest uh, on the river. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's where it does its business. Usually, the river boatmen. Um, the only reason you guys had to walk down to Star Coast from there was because you didn't think that uh, anyone who would pissed off the uh, guys who you know, the guy who keeps them in ale that badly uh, was gonna give them a ride and now you have your own so boat kind of, so you don't have to worry about it it's kind of like a truck stop for fishermen yeah mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly <laughs> exactly yes okay so I'm gonna walk up to Hazel and, and I'm gonna kind of stand there looking at the building and I'm gonna say you know well, at least we don't have to worry about the fact that you're permanently banned blow up the we don't? Let's go check it out first. Mm. Clarity, come on. Do you want me to yeah. stealth wait, wait. ahead a bit? Uh, wait, probably uh, a good can, idea. Wait, can can I get within sixty feet of where I'd be able to feel something and 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 see so that you we're can. still far enough out for danger to not really be a thing? I mean, you can you can stand more or less outside, you know, out of arm's reach of the door, and you probably wouldn't get the whole pub, but you'd get a fair bit of it. I'm pulling well, on this me, placer cloak. Let let me yeah, you, you put on that cloak. I'm gonna before you do anything, Clarity, we've had mm, I'm gonna go see if I can feel anything going on. I it, hang on. And, and I'm the, gonna go the, walk up. Yeah, the, the door do to the tavern is not very far from the edge of the dock. It's literally like five, six steps. You could take like <laughs> one step from where Hazel is currently standing and get like I say, not all of the pub, because the pub is bigger than 60 feet, and plus it's a radius around you anyway, but it, yeah. it'll, it'll, it'll be enough to, to get a sense of if anything is hovering in the doorway waiting to ambush you. Or if there's any desecrated ground! So, yeah, that, that's what I want to do. Okay, do uh, you don't feel anything. There might be something lingering like there was something here but not the not the tainted honey ick it's just there may have been undead or fiends or something here at some point but it's now just a leftover residue whatever was here moved on a while ago i think we're okay there was stuff here probably those things that got us but i th think we're okay for right now there's there's still something there's a feeling that's that's lingering but i don't think it's anything current i don't think uh -huh. oh i uh -oh. guess we won't have to worry about being banned what uh oh no what uh oh well, well if something was here what happened to the person who was running it 
Yeah. Yeah. There is that. I well, think we all can guess, but Yeah. Shall I go ahead and see if there's anything, any sort of trouble that's not undead related? I, I think that would probably be a good a good thing to do because knowing that gnome as well as I didn't, but knowing him as well as I did, there might have been traps, who knows. Or at the very least, he might be a little he might be a little, you know. If if there is anybody alive in there, they might be a little paranoid. Testy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna go stealth. Okay, roll stealth. Twenty six. Okay. Where'd she go? Clarity vanishes into a sh- patch of shadow, and um, so I'm going to sort of creep up to the door, and is it ajar a little bit? It's one of the hinges is broken. It's hanging open with one of the hinges sort of broken. The only reason the other one hasn't is because the door has sort of landed uh, sort of kitty corner to, to the, the near wall. And uh, it, 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 it has been forcibly broken in. Okay. Um, are there any windows that I can just sort of take a peek inside? There are a couple of windows. Okay, I'll go take a, a just a cursory look. In the meantime, I've backed up to the rest of the group at the dock, so I'm not just standing in the doorway. <clears throat> um, a good look inside with the dark vision, because of course the, the lights aren't on inside. It's a mess. Broken tables, broken chairs, what crockery remained after Hazel's uh, hammer accident has been smashed. And there are at least four disemboweled corpses littered in pieces on various bits of the floor. There's bits missing from what little you can tell. You need to make more of an investigation check to find out what, but there has been a massacre. The gnome that ran the place is currently um, hung from one of the support beams open from sternum to pelvis, and you'd think there should be more insides than you can immediately notice. Uh, so it's 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 kind of horrific in there. Um, I'm gonna go to the door. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check for traps just in case. I mean, give me a perception check. Uh, wasn't it investigation that we had used before? Um, I think it. I think it's interchangeable. So yeah, if you want to use investigation, you can. Okay. Thirteen. Yeah, the main As... difference between. Sorry, go ahead. No, it... if you you if you wanted to say a thing. Yeah. Main difference between perception versus investigation is how you're looking for something. Like yeah, leaps of logic yeah, versus. She's specifically looking for traps, yeah. so it's investigation. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. As far as you can tell, with that roll, there are no traps. Okay, so I'm going to slowly open the door. Well, no, the door's already um, open. The door is kicked. Oh, in. okay. Well, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to open it a little more and then sort of step inside and take a closer look at what's around. See if I can see what, like, well, I guess I'll, I'll the closest spot I, I'll see if I, I can glean from it. Sorry, I'm hearing about half of that. Um, uh, she asked if she could check out the closest body and see what she could glean from it. Okay, the, that's another investigation check as you go poking around. Uh, 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 seven. Uh, that's you, a you, re- fail on top. you remember? You remember the? You remember oh. the feeling that uh, Clarity had uh, during the pie eating contest? Outside and um, getting rid of your lunch would probably be an idea right about this point because that's so just I'm, fucking gross. Yeah. I am getting out and yeah, seeing if I there, <laughs> manage to keep there... my lunch. <laughs> okay, give me a Constitution saving throw. All right, twelve. Just 
You're you're sort of leaning over the edge of the dock and going, I'm not gonna do this again. I'm not gonna do this again. I'm not. I'm I'm, I'm actually oh, not gonna boy, do this Oh boy, that didn't look again. good. Okay. Clarity. What? Yeah. what? She has. Yeah. She so has actually. Back to... She has actually tracked bloody footprints. Yeah. Oh boy. Clarity. So. It's a mess in there, not your normal mess. There's disemboweled bodies, and the poor innkeeper is um, hanging from the oh. ceiling. Okay, this doesn't make sense. If this was, then I must have been wrong in my guess, because if this is what came after us, hanging doesn't make sense, and leaving food behind doesn't make sense. Oh, this can't be good. I I don't know what did it. I did not manage to keep a good look at the things that were gross because they're pretty terrible. Um, if uh, so, anyone with uh, a stronger stomach would like to take a look, um, there are no traps that I could tell right in the um, vicinity of the door, but. I can, after a moment, I might be able to take a better look around to just make sure everything's safe. Okay, I, I'm gonna go walk up to the door and peek in and... You see, you see what she saw. Go for that first body and see if I can find anything out. So investigation check, right? Check. All right, let me get my roll thing back up. Where is investigation? There. Nine. Well, it probably it probably wasn't those things that attacked you. Um, mostly because they seem to prefer innards. Uh, most of what's missing is internal organs. Can I? Is this a two-story inn or a one-story inn? Uh, there seems. There seems to be an upper floor looking at it from the outside. Can I slowly kind of make my way around the outskirts of the room and try to find the upstairs and head that way? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, if, if, you, if you take a circuit around the, uh, the, the, the inside, things do squelch under your boots a bit. Um, you will find a narrow, very steep staircase uh, leading up to the upper level. Okay. I'm going to poke my head back out, and there's an upstairs. I'm going to go scout it out if anyone else would like to come. Uh, not with a... I don't okay. think we should do this individually. Then... Uh, okay, yeah, I'm... I will I'm go with, with. Yeah, you. I'm staying out here yeah. and trying to... cut. Uh, trying to make sure Clarity can keep her lunch yeah. down. Well, yeah, no, Cla you, um, Clarity, Clarity is actually okay, but currently what you have is um, unburied, unconsecrated bodies, um, which, to be fair, is kind of an affront to both Baylor and Tuna Rule, frankly, because well, the dead should be respected more than this. They should be, but let's figure out what's going on, and then we take care of the... Yeah, just dead just, know, just knowing Hazel when she sees that Clarity is doing okay, that would probably be the next thing that catches her eye. Yeah, let's, we can go inside. I'm I'm fine. All right, and let's let the yeah. yeah. Okay, um, the stairway the the stairway is quite narrow, um, so you're only going to be able to go up a, one at a time. Who's going first? I will. Okay. The one with the armor. <laughs> the stairs do creak rather a lot, because remember, you're wearing plate armor, and that's a lot of weight for it to take. Not that you personally are heavy, but you're wearing a... But with the armor and with yeah, the... Yeah, you're, you're, you're wearing a significant amount of steel. And Nora's not small. She's like 175, I think is what I rolled, so... Yeah. So... There's a there's a little so it's more sort of a trapdoor than anything else. It's, you're, this this stairway is almost like a very you know, shallow gray ladder um, that you've been climbing up, and clearly it was meant to wedge into the smallest bit of available space to leave more room for you know the actual tap room. Opening the door, 
mostly what you see are a couple of camp beds, a couple of hammocks. Um, not much in the way of dust, so it's probably been vacant for, uh, I don't know, a week and a half, basically since uh, the incident at Star Coast. Um, it's empty, as far as you can tell, but there are a couple of backpacks kind of thing that travelers might carry sitting by a couple of the beds. Can can I get into one and open it up? Uh, you can. It's I mean it's got a couple of changes of clothes, uh, some travel rations, kind of rusty nothing dagger, in... nothing. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm glad it's empty, but I'm kind of disappointed it's not. I don't know. I... So what it? What is it? It, it's a backpack, a, a traveler's backpack. There's clothes in here. There are rations. There's a couple of rusty-looking daggers. I, yeah, right, there, I wonder if they belong to any of the bodies downstairs. Yeah, there, there's a, there's a couple of bags up there. You just grab the nearest one to the uh, to the trap door. I mean, there, there's another bag. I can go grab it too and see. But this one is, it probably did belong to somebody downstairs. I let me grab the other one just just to be sure there's not. I don't know what I'm even looking for right now. Just something, anything. So I'm going to go well, grab I mean, that other bag. Gonna, and If it does belong to some of the bodies downstairs, it's not that they're going to need them. I'm going to get the other bag fast. The, the, other, the other one contains pretty much the same thing. Um, you know, there's there's a couple of changes of clothes. Um, again, some rations. A bit more in the way of rations. This was a slightly bigger bag. Somebody was clearly either carrying for a couple of people or going on a longer trip, possibly both. Um, the one thing that you do notice that's not, you know, usual traveler's fare is a um, pair of uh, fairly recently knitted baby shoes. This one, um, largely the same. More food. Uh, baby booties. I am. Um, I'm gonna hand the bag out, and I'm gonna kind of back down the staircase and uh, out the door for a minute. What What this will probably indicate to you guys is that whatever happened happened fast enough that nobody could get upstairs in time. <laughs> Huh. So, what are we thinking? These Something kicked in the door and... Properly. Okay. I mean, are we, we... You were saying we needed to stop. Are we gonna stop? Well, can we... Can someone else take a look at the bodies? Maybe see... I don't know, someone with some medicine background to see maybe what it was that cut them open? I, was it a claw? Was it it a, a sword? Okay, those of you who are Try. proficient in medicine, make me a medicine check. There go. That is an eight. Hazel, a Hazel, is, Hazel is stuck on you don't treat the dead like this. They, they, they're supposed to be walking in the sun, not this. Furseth, yeah, these, these, these are claws. He's, he's had, he's had, they, they are, they're larger claws than the ones that recently were cutting into him. But they do seem to have gone solely for uh, internal organs. There are some teeth marks on some of the limbs, which is probably more of a sign of desperation than anything else. Uh, but uh, the the, you know, the 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 really meaty internal organs, uh, uh, livers, kidneys, hearts, those are gone. Uh, yeah, whatever did this definitely had claws. Like it's not the same ones that 
were tearing into me just last night. Well, I mean, we don't, I mean, at this point, I'm like, clear the, clear the room, deal with the bodies and fortify. And that's about all we can do. I mean, if you got, you were saying we needed to stop here. So if we want to stop here, that's, I mean, that's probably how we're going to do it. That's what, that's what one of the things that my conversation with the, uh, um, with the woodcarver and, and all them, that was one of the one of the things that one of the ways you know you set up camp and so i mean at least here we have walls yes one, one, get of, the, to one it, of the thing, one of the things the woodcarver said to you is that when when you were discussing your first encounter with the vine blights it was like if you th if you think anything's in there you you try to put you try to put a roof over your head and on a floor under your feet exactly that's what i was trying to get to thank you um, would I know of any creatures that might disembowel and really just want the, that has claws or and would want to disembowel would, something or, oh, make, or would I have heard of anything? I mean, make me an arcana check. Anyone who wants to. 18. Eight. 24. That is a three. Well, you're not proficient in Arcana anyway, so you're, you, that, that makes a certain amount of sense. No, you, Nora and Clarity, there are lots of things that go for the uh, that go for the organs rather than anything else, and most of them are clawed. You kind of have to be to uh, to 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 shred open. Uh, unfortunately, with the state of the bodies as they are, and the fact that they've been there for a few days now, at the very least. Uh, you don't you can't tell which of those it would be but this isn't this isn't something that's uh, i guess unnatural from the standpoint of unnatural creatures if you see what i mean it's i mean it's unnatural but it's not beyond what a a ballad or a book or something would tell you <laughs> for darwin it's like i don't even want to think about this i really don't even want yeah. to think about this <laughs> <coughs> Hazel, but same thing. She's already dragging. She, well, she's already sort of trying to climb up the, to the uh, to the to the root to the, the ceiling beam and trying to cut the poor gnome down. I'm, I'm bracing. Saying, I'm trying I'm to brace what. Away. Yeah, I'm trying to brace whatever it is that Hazel's standing on. <laughs> it, what remains of a table? You managed to get. You managed to get the the, the poor tavern keeper down. All right, Hazel, let's come make sure that these, uh, we can just send them off, right? Mm-hmm. Let's go find a place to, to lay them to rest. Yeah, my, I mean, my basic vibe about the whole thing is, like, uh, it's important to Hazel and, and Nora, so it's important to me. So that's why I'm helping. Besides, you don't really want them um, rotting on the, uh, well, yeah. on, the, on, the, on the tavern floor anymore. Um more than likely, a bit of prestidigitation is uh, used to clean some of the blood clean off the, the floor. floor. Um, yep. Nor, yeah, Hazel and Nora will be able to help this time. Um, go through the uh, the burial rituals, and Nora probably has a slightly interesting take on it because some of Estan's notes uh, do also uh, include a couple of references to uh, the, the the prayers for the departed um, to to speed them along to whatever uh, you know, whatever afterlife and may they you know may they find where they are meant to be is is a lot of the essence of the uh of Nerul's prayers no i'll add um I'm, after they're all said and done i'll i'll play a quick little like somber tune just to send them on the way with a little bit of music as well <laughs> nothing over complicated just you know There's minor scale there's a bit of a, a flutter from a nearby bush, and Flitty uh, drops a few flowers on each of the graves. Aww. Uh, looks looks over at Froseth, going, "It looked kind of important, and this is what Mommy Lady sometimes does." Well. 
Then it just comes to roost on first of the shoulder. I'm sure you were very nice people. Oh. All right, if we don't know what did this, and we don't know because honestly there are too many possibilities. Darwin, what's the best way to fortify the what's left of this for the night? Well, and should I we mean, sleep downstairs? Should we sleep upstairs in that little room? What what should we do? Well, the advantage of being up in the room up there is there's only one entrance, unfortunately. There's only one exit. So um, we can fortify the door. I mean, just there's lots of furniture. Well, what's left of furniture. Just cram it up against the door. Um, board up the windows, you know. I mean, your standard... Yeah, you know, you know, just put as much between us and them as possible, and then just keep watch. All right, let's get to it. You do um. um oh, sorry. Oh well, while I was cleaning up, could I have looked for a cellar to see if I there was a cellar? cellar? Yeah. Oh. Uh, or the back room. You. Do find a back room. It's mostly untouched food rations. The stuff that can spoil has started to. There is no cellar. You will think about it and then realize that probably makes sense because they're right near a water table. On the, the water table, oh. yeah. So, but there's nothing suspicious in the back room. Nothing out of place other than spoiling food. Not that anyone can tell. Okay. It's basically just an abandoned tavern whose customers and owner have been slaughtered. Okay. All right. The current watch rotation seems to work, so let's let's keep yeah, it. Yeah, let's stick with that. Yeah. Mm. What? Mm. No, I not no, eh, but uh, oh, yes. as an acknowledgement. <laughs> okay, I was like, we're, if you we're, have we're translating you hazily. Have <laughs> if 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 Nora is still wearing the uh the, the the her helm because if she hasn't taken her armor off yet, she'll uh, hear uh Flitty saying to Frisa and to her if she still has the helmet on. It's just that she's sad that bad things took. Nice people out of paler sunlight. I'm sad about that too. Sad about what? And I know that yeah. that doesn't translate back. I know. Um, it's just that she gets grumpier about it rather than just sad. She needs to do things. Yeah. You let her cook dinner. She can do things then. Okay. I'm not, no, all right. I'm, the no is, idea what's going on, but sure. Okay. Flitty is explaining Hazel. Flitty is... is... Uh, it lands on <laughs> Hazel's shoulder, nudges her, and in Sullivan. And it goes, it's just because I like you, and I know you need to do things. And I'm sorry it's that good, the nice good. people were dead. Flitty was just saying that... The noise was because Hazel needs to be doing things with her well, grief. Well, yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Gotcha. <laughs> he just looks over at Darwin with this. I'm going to walk over to Darwin and just boff him square in the face. I'm no, not, 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 like. not punch, but just bop. A sort of a sort of, sort of a sort of an over in it sort of an over enthusiastic nose boop. boop. Yeah, that's exactly oh. where I was going with that. Ow. Ow, I need that. So yeah. Hazel, why don't you see what you can salvage from the back? I'll come help you in a minute for dinner. Um and we, I guess we're pretty fortified here. Let's keep the same watches tonight after dinner. Darvin, why don't you figure out where we should sleep, where the best place is going to be? Well, I mean, I can clean the floor. That's easy. Yeah. Okay, I mean, so it's down here on the main floor then? Yeah, well, like I said, okay. the advantage of upstairs is only one entrance. The only problem is only one exit. Uh, down here, not, not to mention the fact that 
Not to mention the fact that one thing you will have noticed is that the, the, the wood of the floors up there is a little bit weaker than down here, and you would had to walk where you were fairly sure were support beams. You couldn't Do wear your armor so up there without worrying right. about going through the floor. So it wasn't like a finished attic. It was more like a well, it was a half finished space. attic. I mean, it was it was it was fairly low ceilinged. It's just mm -hmm. that when you're, they didn't expect people to be spending a lot of time there. So right. they made sure that the couple of beds that were there were positioned on on support beams so that they'd be right. taking the bed weight. That's why a lot of it was hammocks. Mm -hmm. They but were the trying. Floor, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The floor was basically like thin sheets of plywood, just stuck down wherever. Do we need to try to find a way to cover windows? I, well, I did say block the windows. Yeah. Did I, you? Okay, I, I, I'd assumed you'd already. You guys had already done that. Okay. Place. I knew about fortifying the door. I guess I missed the. I had yeah, a dog. I said that fortify was the door. Bathroom. Yeah, and block the windows. Yeah. I had a dog that was needed to go to the bathroom. Okay, so I'm gonna go. To the back and help Hazel figure out how to make dinner. Hazel, with what's left. when when she gets into the back, she remembers one of those um, eh, quick and easy uh, mom dinners that, with some of the uh, eh, with some of their own supplies and the stuff they've got here, Hazel can actually make. It's sort of a sort of a, a, a preserved beef and barley kind of stew thing. That uh, while it doesn't take a whole lot to make, it's uh, it's actually one of Hazel's comfort foods. So it's mm -hmm. like, there's the barley. They have barley. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you, you basically got Hazel running around like a bloody living pinball, doing those. I'm hearing this, and I'm just like. As I'm trying to like figure out, okay, this one there, that one there, as far as spacing, and I'm just sort of like. Well, at least oh, something yes. hasn't changed. <laughs> yes, uh, but you're you're starting you're starting to see where, with a bit more practice and a bit more focus, um, Hazel is going to be a Hazel's going to be a Twilly one of these days. Just all zip, 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 and all of a sudden, and Hazel does produce. A, it looks a little messy, and it's left the kitchen in a state. <laughs> But it's it's a it's quite a nice meal. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you. Happy to help. Good for everybody. And I'm gonna help her, you know, pass it out and yeah. get everybody settled and eating. Is there anything else anyone wants to do for the evening? Nope. The nightmare no. that that um, Nora and Hazel had with the uh, front lawn at the Star Coast Manor and the puddles of the black ooze with the dead hands rising the dead rising, some in the symbols of paladins and clerics of Palor. Hazel has that again when Nora and Darwin are taking their first watch. So does Clarity, and so does Forsyth. So you two watch these three Essentially having a pretty restless uh, sleep, all told. It starts fairly late into the watch cycle, but... Um... When it does Should come... Should we wake him up? Well, it nearly is time to at that point anyway, when they start getting really restless. I, I'm going to go ahead and, and wake up Hazel and Clarity. Do you want to... Uh, should we wake up for a sec? I don't know. I... Uh, you're muted, Ethan. Oh, 
Yeah. Sorry. No, I'm not. Huh? That was me. Sorry. Um, yeah. I mean, d- I mean, yeah. At least to find out what's what's wrong, because what the heck? This isn't normal. Uh, I got a guess, and I, I can tell you, I don't like my guess, but. Well, let's wake him up and find out. Okay. A uh, very sudden awakening, and there there is that moment of da as you don't you know that that moment between asleep and awake where you're like wait wait what da ah! there I'm black shit. I was afraid you were gonna say something like that. Yeah. Do you remember yeah, the I'm dream back. that we told you about the first time we came yeah, here? Right, with the ground and the and the things and the and the yeah and the symbols and the people and you. Yeah. But it's looking Ooh. like Hazel and I aren't the only ones having it. Oh, great! I have that to look forward to. It's Lovely. Not fun. It, it's not it is fun. so much hey, worse back. experiencing it. Oh, <laughs> Hey, we told you we weren't crazy. Uh, I didn't think, think you were. Well, I mean, you're hanging out with me. So you got to be a little. But I get it. Oh, uh, boy. Um, <sighs> half asleep, swat it, Darwin. Stop it. Sidestep. Yeah, that, that's Stop not it. even going to come anywhere near hitting. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm sitting. I'm kind of crouching next to Hazel. I'm kind of smoothing her. Go, go ahead and. and... Get as right as you can. It's it's your turn for the watch. Yeah. And I'm gonna look over at Clarity. And are you okay? Uh, it's know just it's so disturbing. I, I mean, I heard your description of it, but that's awful. I, I'm sorry. Uh, for Seth, I know it's not your watch. So I mean, if you think you can go back to sleep. By all means, but I mean, you were tossing and turning too, so uh, we were kind of thinking, you know, well, let's break everybody out of whatever this is. Yeah. I mean, if you is, can get back to Is first just going to try? He, he's, b- before he tries, he's going to do some meditation to, like, even out. Yeah, he can. And I'm going to say just a few prayers for hopefully some peace and, you know, Paylor's light, you know, all that good stuff. Yeah, I'm going to, like, just, I don't know. <laughs> little, I'm going to see little, about if I'm going to find it. I'm going to see if I have any alcohol left. <laughs> there, uh, Twilly and Miranda did pack whiskey. I'm getting a belt. <laughs> this is going to suck. Hit me. Hit me. I hand it over to <laughs> Thanks, Wig. Put it down. Let's we'll see if we have any leftovers and there's, there's, and or possible tea stuff. There's leftovers. There's there's plenty of there's plenty of tea bits. Uh Twilly and Miranda are big big believers in tea. Um the Ooh, three of any... um, sorry. I was about to ask, do we have tea? Ooh, do we have any other knockout tea? <laughs> Look, I don't know if you want knock- knockout tea. No, no you do not have you do not have knockout tea. Um, as uh, as 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 Twilly and Miranda will have walked Hazel through the various teas and explained, you don't want ones that will put you out if you are camping outside at all ever. Because that makes it so you can't wake up if there's right. bad stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. It's the bad stuff I'm trying to avoid. Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay, fine. <laughs> the three of the, the three of you who have have gone back to sleep while uh, uh, Hazel and Clarity are having their watch cycle, they get yeah, they get they get they get through most of the 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 rest. Um, it starts up again. Well, again for Froseth, but first time for you two. But Froseth also at the tail end of it, around the time when one of these two were uh, one of these two cuties up there uh, tries to shake him awake, is uh, that voice. Well, look who it is. Oh no! Oh, you're going to have such a lovely time how fun at which point hazel shakes you by the shoulder oh hey. no <laughs> no what 
No. I mean, no, no, no. I know what, but, but, but what else? There's more. Uh. There's more nope. Re- re- yeah, remember... you, you, you two are still tossing it. We're still out. Point. We are still out. Oh, yeah. They, they shouldn't wake to, up. To, to be fair, not not tossing and turning as much, partially because of the prayers, partially because of the whiskey. Although, the the, the, the dreams are still just as bad for Darwin. It's just that he's not showing it outwardly as much because he yeah, he got himself a, a, a bit more of a knock than maybe he should have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sweating a lot. Mm. <laughs> what do you mean there's more process re- re- remember when I told you about the all the stuff when I attuned with water the stuff I saw mm-hmm. I don't remember if I did but I'm, I, I'm sure I did I told you about the voice at the end talking to me the woman the woman from uh, we saw at star coast she talked to me again uh, just before you woke me up the one with the baron the one with the baron yes i am getting for us at comfort food tea and one of the green tea things oh <laughs> <laughs> I prefer my dragonborn monk friend's stable. <laughs> I'm stable, just I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> Even more so. Still, here. I'm basically like, shoving it into his arms. As a, well, that's as opposed to shoving it into his face, which is better than the alternative. But knowing Hazel is equally as likely. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Basically, from from this point, we've got to assume whatever's at Star Coast knows we're coming. Great, great, wonderful. So it hates us, and it knows we're on our way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna make the rest of tonight. Walking over to Clarity and latching on to her, and just sort of staying in a pile. So the, does the, oh, does right. the cuddle, watch the horns. Does the cuddle pile try to get back to sleep? <laughs> the cuddle pile is increasingly clingy. <laughs> between between you, if slightly broken, and in the case of poor Nora and Darwin, um, unbroken by uh, 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 cheerful wake-ups, um, you do get your full eight hours rest. Um, when Nora and Darwin, who uh, you know, obviously missed all of that, uh, do wake up, they'll find Froseth failing harder at meditating than he was the day before. Um, mostly because you can see just just a little bit of a tremble in his hands as he keeps thinking back and just about that laugh. Okay, I know the nightmare is horrible. This is the second time having it, but... There's more. There was... No, there wasn't. There was for me. And to kind of save time, explain the whole thing to... Yeah. To... (laughs) Great. I'd like water. to say I'm surprised, but I'm not. Oh. Well, at least now I know how to, what I'm what I'm going to be describing later. Make me a straight intelligence check, all of you. Where is my sheep? Right there. Oh, rolled low. Eight. Fourteen. Ten. Ah! <laughs> Hazel is still asleep at this point. Wrapped <laughs> <laughs> entirely around clarity. Um, <laughs> Let me out. Clar- clarity is too busy trying to wake Hazel up. To Froseth is less sure about this being an 
a, a, a worth worthwhile question than the other two are. The other two, what barony are you in right now? Nora, knowing the answer, and I suppose Darwin would too, because it's essentially his turf. The frowning trout marks the edge of the Star Coast barony. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're on her turf right now. Oh. We've been on her turf. This is this is the line. This is the property the property line. The the, the county line. The the barony line. This is this starts it. This marks yeah. it. Yeah. Welcome to the fun part. You and I have a very different definition definition of fun Sundays. <laughs> I'm trying not oh, to dwell. Well, cleric is still out and still making things difficult for clarity. <laughs> Get off. Just wake up, please. I'm going to walk <laughs> you over and kind of... You know, just Does anyone else hear an earthquake? Hazel's hair. Shake her a little bit. I did um, not know Hazel would make noises like that. Flitty, who's a little bit more impatient, uh, sort of nips Hazel's ear. Nip. Ah! Oh, that worked. They've been trying to wake you up for five minutes. I didn't draw blood. <laughs> I still Thanks. like you, but <laughs> I do still like you. But you got to wake Rob up now and pay attention. Proper Sylvan, thank you. And scritch, 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 scritch. Thank you. Better than clock. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say what's an alarm clock. <laughs> I realize it's sitting this center. <laughs> Darwin, you're having very strange dreams we might need to talk about later. <laughs> I understand the sounds that came out of your mouth. The words, however, don't make sense. Uh, Hazel, did no, Froseth tell you about his The dreams? voice? Yeah, okay, good. Uh -huh. So we're on the same page. Great. Okay. We needed food and tea afterwards. I think we all do. All right, speaking of food, let's get breakfast going and see if we can't uh, keep yeah, yeah. on. Yeah, let's hurry mm -hmm. up. As soon as we get going, as soon as we get this over with. Okay. Up, um, round, doing the thing. Yeah, breakfast, you've, you're, you're practiced at this, and now you have a... It, it 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 takes it takes a little while to sort out the uh, the the stove, but uh, it's better than actually building a fire outside somewhere. Um, it works out a little quicker too. So you're you're back on the river in uh, decent time. Um, you're keeping a fairly close eye on the map, so you know where to make the uh, the, the the turn off. Um, you're turning sort of. East, uh, in a southeastwardly direction, heading for uh, where you remembered the hearth to to approximately be on that map. Given that it's a hand marked little dot, it's uh, you spend up until a round about half twelve, one o'clock ish um, on the river. It's a lot faster than the 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 full day it took you to walk to Star Coast. Although you do sort of pass the outskirts of Star Coast as, you know, the, the town. You can still see, just from a distance, so it's hard to make out any details, you can still see, unless you make a perception check, uh, but you do still see the ring of flowers and the fog uh, having, you know, the, the fog stopping. If you want to make a perception check for more details, by all means. I would like to. Yes. I would like to. Yeah. Sure. I think everybody does. Perception? 17. 12. 13. Critic fail. Yeah. Darwin doesn't really want to look. He takes a quick glimpse, but that's basically his home. 21. Hazel leading out far farther than is safe 
can see that a couple of those flowers are starting to wilt a little. Oh, crap. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. What? 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 Uh, Amber, the, 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 the flower circles. Yeah. Starting to wilt. Just a tiny, oh. tiny bit. And it's just one or two starting to lose petals. But well, you know. okay, we can't make the ship sail any faster without ditching stuff, and I'm not ready to do that yet. That, and we kind of figured this was going to be the case anyway. Yeah, we're working on do a not, time frame here. Yep, do not panic. There ain't nothing we can do about it. Let's continue on. I'm going to kind of just pat Darwin's shoulder and keep my hand there for a minute. You, you sail on for another, and it's only a half an hour to where you need to be. And you spot a, a couple of well-maintained docks. There's a couple of uh, little, I mean, little fishing vessels made for, for somewhat smaller people just to be out rowing. It's a, a bit like the very well-patched mm. uh, rowboat that usually lives at Hearth Homes Dock, except there's a couple of these, and they're much newer. Um, there is a place to tie up your current boat, and there are also three halflings in boiled leather armor, clutching spears, and watching you. All right. Good boy. I couldn't take notes last week because of my thumb, and we didn't have a thing. What was the mother's name? Minerva. Minerva, and her brother's Martin, right? Yes. Yeah. They have a thing for Emma names in that family. Yes. I, I wanted to make sure I couldn't remember the mother's name, but I knew it started with Emma. I can write it down. First of all, are you tying up the boat? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, Hazel, having been the first one to say it, uh, manages to hop out onto the pier. She's at least tied up the rowboat at home. So, And the, the, the halflings with the spears sort of approach. They're not quite pointing them at Hazel, but they're looking really, really wary. One in the middle is a youngish, probably about your ages. Um, you can see a little bit of curly blonde hair coming f out from the from from his helm, circling. Who goes there? I'm gonna lean up from the side of the boat. That's Hazel. I'm Nora. This is Darwin and Clarity and Froseb. We were hoping to see Minerva Hearthheart. We're here to help with the storm co with the Star Coast. And we have supplies. That too. There's a pause, and they sort of huddle and murmur amongst themselves. And uh, <clears throat> observant, Froseth. Mm -hmm. What Froseth sees is, oh crap! What do we tell about this? Do we tell anybody about this? Why don't we just send them away? No, we can't just send them away. It's You've heard the argument, but which one do we tell? Do we tell Minerva or do we tell Martin? I'm voting for Martin because he is not going to eat my head. We've got enough things that seem to want to eat our heads without having to worry about Minerva doing it for us. <laughs> oh my god. And eventually he's like, okay, you watch these people because I, 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 I ask, ask the half-elf. You, you know what them, we've been hearing. Ask about the half-elf. And the, the, the one with the blonde curly hair. Who zips off. And the other two take up position um, actually on the dock, meaning you'd actually have to go through them uh, to get off and into the main town. Half-elf! What's your family name? Arthur. <laughs> Damn. I'm avoid that. Damn. 
One of them. Shit. One of them just nods. The other one face palms. <laughs> I I'm I'm on the edge of the boat with my head on my forearms. The one, the one that face palm just goes. You do understand how unwelcome you are here in certain circles, don't you? Mm-hmm. And you don't care, do you? Not one bit. The situation that's is not, kind of dire. That's not why we're here. We're here because of the Star Coast. Yeah, you've never met Minerva Hawthorne, have you? I don't much care. Yeah, neither if will she! Fixed, yeah, if you want that fixed, we are the only ones with the means to do it. We need your information to be able to help. This is, this, is, this, is out of, this is out of our hands now. We've sent for somebody who's a bit more... Martin. They look at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good! Which Hazel, one? get back on the boat. Which is, right. <laughs> back on boat. And they're watching for a as a, as a, as a, as a stand. And now they're just not saying anything else because now they think he's creepy. That <laughs> 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 every so often they're just sort of cutting eyes to him, like We did bring supplies. We are in fact here to help. Uh no offense, sir, but we, we, we need to find out if uh we're going to get trouble for even looking like we're accepting them, so we're just going to ignore them if it's all the same to you. Sorry. That's fair. Shoot yourself on no. your own foot. That's your choice. No, actually, it, they're following orders, so, I mean, it's not really their choice. I'm not moving. I'm just here on the... You know, I'm, yeah, I'm they, up they, against... They, they, act, they actually look at Darwin, and they look relieved. They're, you... they're more scared of Minerva than they are of us. I mean, I... I don't need them to be scared of me, Froseth. I just need them to have common sense. But on the it, other hand, it, they, 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 it, it, it would appear more than likely that it's common sense to be scared of Minerva right now. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Um, I've seen enough browbeaten guards in my time in various houses to 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 know the scene. They're just following orders, and yeah. Sorry, guys. Well, 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 the only reason we brought it up with, 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 with Hazel, they're, they're clearly trying to avoid the half-elf appellation. It's just what, it's what they're used to. It's what their society does. Mm -hmm. At least their little community. It's just, that was, that wasn't trying to denigrate her. That was a warning. Fine. I had a feeling this would be the case. <laughs> the blonde halfling comes back with the uh, halfling that Hazel recognizes. A um, little older than Miranda. Um, darker hair. Uh, you could just about see a resemblance in the features. Uh, the eyes are just as as kind but sharp and noticing everything as, as, mm. as Miranda's are. He nudges past the, the two guards, walks up to the boat, holds out a hand to Hazel. I understand you're my niece. I'd say welcome to the hearth, and you are as far as I'm concerned, but... Yeah, I know. I'm going to take the hand and shake it. And he's, he's actually trying to help you out of the boat. Oh, and also... <laughs> Back out of the boat. <laughs> like, handshake. I am. I have to admit, I'm trying to avoid having Mama know you're here. Aww. I got the impression from what Giles there was telling me that you are in a hurry and speaking to Minerva would slow you down considerably. Given the reactions here? Yeah. Mama has views. Huh. I understand that you're here to help. And points where you can just about see the start of the fog off in the distance. Yeah. How? We have a way of us getting through it. 
but only us because of how it ended up working. Uh, another reason why you. But should... we don't know what to do in there. Yeah, so it should be another. We reason just want why... to know. Yeah. Another reason why you want to avoid Mama. She'd insist you give up whatever protection you have, so that we could. It wouldn't in work for anyone else. Yeah, it's tied to us. It wouldn't stop her from doing it anyway. She's uh, lost a bit of of good sense since well mm -hmm. since since Miranda left us. Oh great! It's her. F it, the, the problem is is that it's Mama's fault, and she doesn't want to admit it. If she told Miranda, something might have been worked out. And to be fair, that's a little bit my fault too. I wanted I wanted Randa to have what I didn't. I wanted her to have a childhood. Well, that's water under the bridge in, in at this case, point. It's, uh, it, that was just very quickly. If 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 you, if you wind up, I'm I'm, you're adventurers, but you're very young. So I, I'm trying to be optimistic and assume you'll survive and be able to explain a thing to to my sister. Mm -hmm. When well, yeah, fog first, then that. I can give you what I know. If it proves not to be enough, you may have to brave Mama after all. All right. You want to stop this fog. Uh -huh. We've been doing some research. And the only thing we can think of that would have caused this, we're not sure what stopped it. Actually, that's a question I should ask first. Do you know what stopped it at the borders of town? Someone we, uh, sacrificing themselves. Major wild magic. magic. Was it wild magic or major magic? Well, either way, magic. Our wild magic. That, and a fair bit of love. That makes a certain amount of sense. The the person was a. They made that. They made Star Coast home. The person who made made that sacrifice. Yes, and yes, they. Very much so. Their life is what bought ours. And a few other people. How did how did this start? You can just say how far you're going to go explaining it, because I know we're running to um, I figure real quick on whole story up to uh, where the, the, the ritual circle and the gibbering mess that was Mira. Mira and, 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 she, and she also... And she also called the 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 gnome. She also called Starcoat home. Yes. Uh -huh. Then we were right. You want the only thing that could have done this would have been the corruption of the heart of Starcoast. Each barony has a heart. A physical manifestation of itself, what it is, what what its mood is. You know one barony feels different to another. Yeah, I think I do. If, well, but I'd always written that off to the people living in it and the communities they formed. That's part of it, but it's more that the people like that are drawn to those places because of how they feel. Mm. Because of what they are. And they also then feed into the heart of the barony. The, the barony can the barony's heart can change by its people. Mm -hmm. But if the heart of a barony is corrupted then the barony is corrupted. We theorize that if that circle were to break this would only spread as far as the borders of Star Coast. It doesn't feel only to us, obviously, because we live here, but it wouldn't spread to the others because their hearts are the hearts of those baronies are not corrupt. Yet. But what it turns the people into can spread beyond the borders. We don't know that. We do. No, we don't. Never mind. I keep bringing those things up from the fuck. Never mind. I didn't say that. If you are going in there, if you can, <laughs> if you can go in there, you're looking for a box. 
about the size of a loaf of bread. It'll be made of driftwood with the compass rose of Stock Coast. Oh! On, 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 on the lid. Oh, that's familiar. That's... Right? You made the connection too. The oh no! Of the tower. The hell was that doing in a tower? Uh, for you two, three, being defended. Why do you think he wanted it back so bad? He didn't yep. want it just left in a tower unguarded. Yep. Now I'm glad we didn't open it. Yeah. I, yeah, agreed. If the Wait a minute. What? what? Why are the three of you? What? Uh, 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 Mark's Power going, can, 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 I wasn't there. Mark, Martin, Mark. Can, can, later. Move back to the, we know what we yeah, need. Okay. Yes, we're familiar, what we're familiar said. with that. Yeah. If... If it's corrupt beyond the ability to read, because the one thing we don't know is how we could cleanse something like that. If if it's corrupted beyond repair, the heart has to be destroyed. What happens then? The barony dies. And so does the corruption spreading from it. But can the barony be restored after? We, we don't know, but as you say, there is a possibility that it could spread. And right. If, the if alternative. We would have to move, but okay. it, it wouldn't be an immediate everything dies, but it, it's, not like a, it's not like a living creature. When the heart of something as abstract as a barony dies mm -hmm. it's a slower process but the corruption would have to the corruption would die first because it's feeding directly off it right mm. that would be it's the first big, the, right. that would be the first thing to go and it would give the rest of us time. time to find another home it's an extreme it's an extreme solution but it is a solution we will of course try to find another I'm cleansing first, if we possible. I, we I'm, we unfortunately uh, cannot tell you how, but given the two of you are looking at Nora and at Hazel, yeah. you might stand a better chance than we might. Clarity, you were about to say something. Well, well uh, is there a, a greater danger to people who are from this barony? David. It's from here. I'll deal. Where do you call home? <laughs> um, not here anymore. If your heart has, if your heart has another tether as its home, then you'll be fine. All right. It's where, and I point to everybody else. It's where these, where they go. That's where it is. I meant more in the way of physicality as well, but you know, not just where well, you yeah. had your hat. Barton, notwithstanding. I don't remember exactly, but was there a thing that Miranda wanted me to pass on to Martin specifically? Just her love, basically. And I'm a hug him. <laughs> Hey! Oh boy. Pat, pat, pat. Sorry. No, She's a hugger. No, no, it's it's fine. It's it's from Miranda. Niece, I think he expected it. I think we're okay. The uh, guards are moving is, to this, stab her. Right? This is this it's, is this is this is actually more like uh, well, my uh, my my sister-in-law than than my sister. Yeah. Miranda was a bit always a bit more conservative with her hugs. A bit. Bill. Do you know what could have caused the corruption of the heart? That's a much longer story. One that, from the looks of you, you don't have time for right now. Make me a deal. We fix this, you tell me the story. If we can do it without uh, current issues, uh, then, then, then I'd be happy to. But 
Fair even enough. even with this sorted, I think she'd actually be more cross with you. She can be cross with me as long as she's alive. That's what I care about right now. I hope that was actually a, a saving from corruption rather than an actual threat. I, I, yes. I, 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 on principle, I, I kind of have to take offense to that. Well, <laughs> my wording was poor. I apologize. I, I am not one with a silver tongue, but so long as she's alive, that is the important part. That's why I'm doing this. Alive and uncorrupted. Uh, the, the and wise. uncorrupted is implied. I would have thought so. Sorry. Forget the forthright. You were you. I didn't hear that, Smeagol. Supplies, then. Oh, um. We have stuff. I can't say that we can't use it. I'll deal with whatever Miranda has to say about even letting you dog. Right. Um, and the 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 guards actually at at his gesture. Uh, start unloading things quite uh, quite handily, actually. So I'll I'll take whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. It's reassuring the guards as much as you guys. I will take whatever she has to throw. But tell me that we don't need these. And they just sort of nod and wander off. I swear, if we were more... I hear that some countries have a, a, a system where they actually vote who they want in charge. This would be a very different place. Mm. One of my siblings is... I think she's went to a place that, that does that kind of thing instead of... I'll the nonsense. Can, can, can we add a few stories about my uh, extended family? to the deal. I'm I happy to hear so. anything you want. <laughs> We're happy to tell and Frantic share. Frantic nodding, the hair is starting to go everywhere. <laughs> yeah. the Hazel. He actually stands on tiptoe just a little bit because Hazel's still quite small and he's he like his you know like Miranda's tall for a half like smooths the hair a little bit, leans way up and kiss on the forehead. Good luck. Mm. Where is the best Happy place Hazel. for us to try to enter? Do you know? Well, I wouldn't dock here. I don't know what would happen to your boat. Uh, we <laughs> have just outside of the Star Coast borders, as far as I know. I, I think it's outside of the uh, of, of the of the flower ring. There's a there's a dock. It will bring you very close to. Uh, one of the Reek Alley entrances. You'll be fine uh, from there. Yes. Alright, thank you. Okay. Good luck. Walk in thank the sun. You. Yeah, what? Yeah, that. <laughs> and I'm assuming you high off for the dog. Are you guys going to explain to Nora b before we kick before we mm -hmm. off? Because Nora's still... <laughs> Okay, look, we're, we yeah. got like at least a couple of minutes before we get to that doc. Box? Panic attacks? What? Okay. Well, not the, panic attacks. It was tower. Just... The, the, I didn't the, go the, to the tower. Yeah. I'm not saying. Oh, but we do, told you do about you it. Didn't the we? time we yes. went to go do that. Yes. Yes. That's well, the, box the thing that, we were told that, to go fetch was a box exactly like what he's describing. Oh. But for so, a different it's barony, real. it's a different yeah. crest thing. Well, for yeah. for the Goldendale barony, in fact. For the, right. for, 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 yeah, we found a different, I mean, different barony, but it's real. It's a thing. Same it actually kind a of thing. box. And oh. the, the, the baron was like all a freaking out about it. Oh. I mean, rightly so. And now also an asshole. Now, understand why. No, the the, sen no, sure no, the seneschal the was the seneschal was the asshole. The, the no, well, no, that the seneschal was an asshole, even more of an asshole. But that guy was also an asshole for getting us out of our beds in the middle of the night. That was and, still the seneschal. Yeah, that was the seneschal. That was still the seneschal. He he said that he, he must needed... have had some sort of say in it. He was the baron. This is Clarity's mindset. She doesn't care. I, I out of character, I can't disagree because, you know, he should have control over his underlings, but not the point. I, 
Wait, so the Baron wanted you to retrieve the box where it was being pretty damn well defended. Nope, it was not being defended at it. all. No, there was... There was, there was, there was, was a eyeball. Crap, there was but... a carpet! <laughs> they tried to eat people! <laughs> yeah, and but you guys got... Specific yes. Yeah. And, and we got past... I, know what it, it. I, I knew what it was in character, but I can't remember out of character, the, the, the monster. This, yeah. It was a spectator. The spectator guarding uh, it. There was there were things but, up there. But a team, a, a team, them. a team of four teenage adventurers got through it. Imagine it was what, guarded. Imagine but... what that woman would do. The one that talked to. Uh... Yeah, we got okay, through so it. Okay, so then the other option is he knew what had happened. Why this was like this? No, no, not he necessarily. Just, all he, he knew just was the heart was vulnerable. He is just it, freaking out about, about the box not being in with his him possession. After. Oh, because God. the guy who had the tower was dead. Is dead. Yeah. And so, yeah, it was no longer being protected. So now we know why he was so upset about the box not being particularly well protected. So now it's protected. But that, is, that then implies that he knows what's in it and knows it needs to be protected and why, which means he knows what happened here and why. No. Well, I don't think he has any idea what went on here. He we just told everyone! Hmm? Yeah, but he he we may he, he may not he may not admit the connection. Not, I mean, all he knows, as far as you guys know, is that he holds the heart of his barony in his hands. Mm -hmm. And he, given some of the stories he's been hearing, he wants to make sure that it's protected. As far as you know, that is the situation. Yeah, that is also weird that he was selling basically everything he had. Things are well, that's another. Happen. That's a whole that other situation. Another adventure for another time. Let's yeah. handle this. But first. yeah, now, 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 we definitely know things Fox, are not adding up. Definitely a thing. Things are weird, and I don't trust it. I don't. That's fair. But yeah, okay. But it's just another hinder there at this point. Let's deal with this and move on. Agreed. Yes, that. And on that note, with at least the. Uh... At, at the very least, you know what that box was, and with the potentially horrifying realization that Hazel Hearthheart has held the heart of a barony in her hands, and the equally horrifying realization that a whole lot of this could have been averted if you'd actually taken five minutes and used the keys that you found in the manor and search the other to. rooms. I uh, cried. I'm just saying these are these are some of the things that will occur I as you voted. as you drift. I out, wasn't there for that. As you as you drift out to the uh, to towards that that dock, just at the outer edge of the ring of flowers, uh, the they actually also span the river. Except these are more water lily, and they're still out there keeping the fog at bay. You can only imagine there's a sort of a circle of them uh, on the ocean side as well. You'd need to see to be sure, but you tie up at the dock and find yourself facing a barely visible city that you once approached so much more innocently <laughs> but now and all is, i wanted to do was get paid now it is <laughs> now it's it's shrouded in fog waiting and that's where we're going to close for this particular session